Thank you, Priority Earthworks, for sponsoring today's show. Get a hold of Adam, 518-669-5401. For commercial or residential lot clearing needs, get your driveway cleared, get your backyard cleared if it's overgrown, and uh, he'll even trim your bush if that's overgrown. So get a hold of Adam, PriorityEarthworks.net, or 518-669-5401. If you're in the capital region of New York or surrounding areas, I'm sure he'll come out and take a look at your bush. You know what they say, a trimmed deck is a big deck. Hey, dog, my deck ain't big either either way. You take out for dinner Put all the bad girls You take out for liquor All the good girls They don't pull the trigger Put all the bad girls They pull it much quicker It's never too late To get down and party Switching from good to bad Cause you're not a Feel it inside Oh inside your body Let it come out With shots of Bacardi let your body go We'll take it nice and slow Just let your mind be free And come in close All the good girls, they go to heaven But the bad girls, they get backstage All the good girls, they go to heaven But the bad girls, they get backstage All the good girls, they go to heaven we have Lola Montez here with us for our first stripper interview. We're going to find out the ins and outs of a stripper. Would you do I mean, full porn? Yeah, definitely, I think. This episode comes out October 17th, Monday, as usual. So you push up on the taint right when, like, the guy's going to come. So you, like, push up on the taint right behind the balls, not on the ass or in the ass. Taint ass, Exactly. Right, and then it's supposed to be, like, the biggest orgasm. (laughs) These guys are losing their fucking minds right now. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this in editing, but... I realized what the fuck she was doing, too. <laughs> and then when I realized what she just said, I was like, holy fuck. Hey, what up, y'all? Is this Rodeo... Rodeo, Rodeo Rusks. Galaxy. Galaxy Rusks. Sorry. So, you started by accident, more or less. Yeah. You were you were just uh, you went out to the club with some girlfriends or some people, some friends, I'm assuming, yeah, just some and friends, yeah. And uh, then that was it. And you came back Monday. Yep. And just and it wasn't uncomfortable for you to jump up there on the stage at first. How was what was that first experience like? You can touch. You can't touch boobs, pussy, and I have to say, you can't touch butthole. Okay. Butt but you crack. can touch the butt, but you just can't touch the crack or the hole. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't go, like, crazy with, like, grabbing. Mm-hmm. You're supporting small business. You know, pay f- to see your friend's buttholes. Right. You guys out there want to go to... Touch them. No, you can't touch no. the buttholes. No, you don't see your the buttholes I was talking about. Only do not that. boop her butthole, Matt. No, do huh? not boop Period. Do not boop her fucking butthole. She's big on the boopings. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how people can find you. So the easiest way to find me is on my website. Okay. Um, Lola Montez VIP because when you're on my site, you're a VIP. Oh. Um, dot com. And if you Google search it, say that you meant to say VIP dot com. Lola Montez because it does VIP. that weird thing. Because it does a weird thing. It's okay. like pulls up. Did you mean this other thing? Finger blasting is fun with friends. But if my friends aren't around, I'll just finger blast myself. <laughs> Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey, Har. If 
I had to choose between oral sex and birthday cake, oral sex would always win. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. You know what my favorite fantasy is? Come on! Oh, no. mm, I can hardly wait. They should be here any minute. Suck it. Suck it deep. Hey, so are you ready to have some fun? Because I am. Oh my god. You're a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. Don't be a little bitch. Now listen to me carefully, you fat tub of goo. Can you at least give me head? Oh, yeah. I can put my whole fist in my mouth. What the fuck's gonna happen next? October 15th. This episode comes out October 17th, Monday, as usual, for over a year now. It's been a year and like a week since we started this. Me and Mike on a coffee table with a cell phone and a computer. And now we have Lola Montez here with us for our first stripper interview. We're going to find out the ins and outs of a stripper. The ins and outs of a stripper's life. A day in her life in a stripper. That's right. The ins and the outs. (laughs) Let's get it going. (laughs) Episode 60. Um, Lola, tell us about yourself. How did this start? How did you get, like, what was your first experience as a stripper? So I started first as a customer, Mm -hmm. actually, and I got really drunk and gave somebody a lap dance, and the owner came up to me and said, you start Monday. Wow. (laughs) Literally. (laughs) What was that? He just put his foot down and said, you start on Monday, and you were all for it. I was. (laughs) And I was working three jobs at the time. <clears throat> and like 80 hour weeks and uh after three days of working as a stripper then i was like i quit all three jobs that's all it took you, <laughs> were, you were done it was I enough was, like, <laughs> was it the fun or the money both okay yeah so you was, do have fun doing it this is oh, not yeah. like a stressful job like you go in and like you dread it this is a fun oh, no. i love it Good. so Everybody has like up and down days at their jobs, no matter how much they love it or anything. But the pros always outweigh the cons. So it's, I, I love it. I love everything that I do. It's not like actual work for me. Sure. You go, you, I mean, not to water it down, it's still a career, but it's, you're, you go and you dance for fun, Yeah, which people do. They spend money to go dance. You make money to dance. Yes. So it's it's the other way. So it's got to be fun. It is. I, Matt, love... I, I think you should do it. Would you ever? <laughs> I have been thinking about doing it. <laughs> I bet. Have you, uh, would you do it one night if you, like at a male strip club, would you, is there male strip clubs around here? Is there even male strip clubs at all? Yeah, the, I think so. Really? I've never yeah. seen them. There, there is, but I don't know if there's any around here. Actually, I should probably mention too, we have Rodeo Rusk. Is that the, is that, did Rodeo I? Rodeo Galaxy. Rodeo Galaxy. Rodeo Rusk Galaxy. Oh, it's a whole <laughs> thing. Well, Rodeo Rusk words Galaxy. In there. She's here Rodeo too. Rodeo Rust. Rusk. Rusk. R U S K. And Galaxy. Shit. <clears throat> that's that's a lot to say though. It's Rodeo's Galaxy. You're just living in it. <laughs> yes. So we're gonna try to get her on the show eventually in the future. But she just came up with Lola to check things out and see how it went, and just to make sure that Lola didn't know we were creepers. No. Well, well, I we are, be. but <laughs> just for protection. No. Which, which apparently, you've done what seven years of martial arts. Yep. Mm-hmm. So she doesn't really need any protection no. from us. No, actually, she's kind of intimidating. We were talking about that earlier when yeah. we first met her. Mm-hmm. You are intimidating, which in a good way, though. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I love it. Yeah. I love being scary. Actually, rodeo gave me, <laughs> rodeo gave me a, a great compliment the other day, and was like, "Yeah, you are scary." I love it, oh but I think rodeo is actually. I think ro- rodeo is crazier yes. than her, though. You think that's true? Yeah. What, the, Dude, what do you guys think? Who do you who do you think is the crazier? With the clown makeup? Did you see her keychain she had earlier? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, anybody with a keychain that weighs seven pounds is is pretty, has got to be. <laughs> I would say that if, uh, for coverage, she's crazier on the outside, but I'm like quiet and crazy. So. Yeah, those are the scary ones. The ones those you got to be careful of. Mm-hmm. The ones that are all cute and innocent. Mm-hmm. Until you push us too far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready to fight in the corner. She's ready to go already. Uh, I am I'm a little scared. Uh I'm not afraid of clowns, but uh she I could see how people would be. I think like you said, it was the what was the girl's name from Batman? Uh Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Yeah, yes. she's got a picture on her Facebook. It looks like Harley Quinn, and that's like a big thing right now. Also, she does them eyes. What is it? What are the eyes called? Those, those Chinese eyes or whatever they're called. 
What was it? A he gayo. And how'd you explain that? Is when you just give in and you just can't, or you you're ready, you just give in to the whole coming thing or orgasm thing, and you become a slave to the the sexual consumption, and then you just completely let go. And then you get googly eyes or whatever, or some crazy shit. Being fucked stupid. I'm being being <laughs> fucked stupid. I've, <laughs> I've, uh, yeah, I've had some girls say that before. I just fucked stupid. <laughs> My wife says that every night with me. I'm fucking stupid right now. <laughs> In fact, Nicole's going to fuck stupid later tonight. So this works out great. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, because I'm losing oral October. Yeah, I we talked you. about it in the last episode, Oral October, and Matt was all for it for about three days, and now he's done with that because yeah. he needs penetration. Yeah, I do. He needs penetration. I know, so no, no, actually, no, I need to give the penetration. I'm not <laughs> yeah. taking the penetration. <laughs> we have to clarify that. Hey, Har. Uh, so you started by accident, more or less. Yeah. You were you were just uh, you went out to the club with some girlfriends or some people, some friends. I'm assuming. Yeah, just some and, friends. Yeah. And then uh, that was it. And you came back Monday. Yep. And just and it wasn't uncomfortable for you to jump up there on the stage at first. How was what was that first experience like? Um. So the girls were really nice. Okay. So I'm sure that helped. Was, were you there before her, or were you? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't know. I just like, he just jumped tried. up and, was good to go. and I was, I looked horrible at first. <laughs> so there's definitely a learning curve. Yes. Yes. Okay. Everybody, when they first start. When do they teach you the, where you, the part where you slam your feet down and your shoes down and the thing? Cause I heard that's like a gimmick to get people's attention. So I don't do that. Some girls do. Okay. Um, so the heels, they're like. Plastic, so when you slap them together, they clack really loud. Yes, yep. So I do <clears> that like with the beat, but every once in a while, just with certain moves. Okay. So so that's just a dancing thing. That's not an attention. I thought it was to get people's attention that weren't paying attention. In the- Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> okay. What kind of songs do you dance to? I dance to everything. I have danced just to regular like club music. Um, I've danced a Slipknot. Oh, I was going to ask do you like getting like the like heavy metal type stuff or anything like that. Yeah, I love it. Just for any of the listeners that that can't see, Matt is in love. I am I mean, not he's, in he's love. love. No, time Absolutely. out. I am They're not. They're writing in up love. divorce papers out in the other room right now. For <laughs> <laughs> and Nicole is such a good sport. She plays along with all our bullshit that we do on the show uh, up until this point, and she allows it. She's good with it, and that's good for you. It's good for you. Uh, so you started, you went in Monday, it was a little bit uncomfortable, but not really. You kind of just comfortable. It was just like I had no idea what I was doing. So I learned how to do a private dance. A customer took one of the um vets at that time. Um one of the vets, you mean the veteran is that strippers. A, is that oh, a, so yeah. one of the other girls, not yeah, so okay. one who's been there. So a veteran stripper is somebody okay. who's been there for years. Is the business cutthroat though? It can be. Like, like, do you get jealous of new girls coming in? No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't think people should. <clears throat> I don't. Every, but we have a variety. And it's always good to have variety because everybody likes different types of girls. So some people like the That's newer girls. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Like but, Asians. Like, there's some people that are into, like, you're into Asians. No, because like I said, dated one once. <laughs> Well, all you must sudden, have been, you, so, all of a sudden, I'm into Asian. Well, I get it. I'm not. Te- I'm, I'm. I'm laughing, but I'm not. I'm being serious. Like some people are into Asian. Some people are in like Latina girls or like the cowboy look or whatever. It's. I get it. <laughs> You're damn near Asian now. Yeah, yeah. Just from that. Oh, crimson guy. You have four hour. You go home now. You fuck too long, right? Uh, yeah, that's not you, but no. you, there's no fucking too long. <laughs> no, no, be just laying around. You go home now. You fuck too fast. What's it? T- how long do you typically fuck? Not you. How do? How long should you typically fuck? How long should you typically fuck? I'm going for like 14, 15 minutes. I don't care when anybody says they're like, "Oh, my boyfriend fucked me for three hours." Then wrong. I, I feel like that's uncomfortable for the me. The only time that happens when you got wiki, uh, yeah, wiki whiskey dick, and you just can't fucking finish. How long do you say? I say a good 20 minutes. Okay, Lola, how long do you think a good session is? I think it depends on the mood. Yes. All right, so, yeah, that, I guess that, there's variables. Yeah. I mean, sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes like three hours. I don't fuck, know. if I was I, drunk enough, I woke up the next morning still fucking. 
Well, I mean, there's times <laughs> when I do get drunk and I'm fucking. I think I'm a porn star, but I'm far from it. Probably in my mind, I'm a porn star. You're a I'm porn like, star Fuck, in my mind yeah, too. Yeah, here but... I am. I'm up there looking in the mirror, going, "Yeah, this is me." And probably in, re- in real life, if you were actually to come in and look and watch and be like, yeah, have hey, you ever watched yourself fuck the next day? That is horrible. <laughs> don't ever, if I can give you any advice to the listeners or anybody, don't ever watch yourself fuck as a guy. Anyway, because it's not. No. You look like you're chasing something at the edge of the yeah. bed. It's, it's not. That's you're chasing horrible. a rabbit and it's going down the <laughs> yes, hole. You yeah, just keep you're going. trying to catch it and it don't. It's nope. just not. Don't ever watch yourself fuck. Uh, so, where the fuck were we? We get. The, uh, so. You, so when did so then that was what year do you remember that was 2000 2016 2016 it's now 22 so you've been doing this a little while yeah are you a vet now yeah that, i mean i consider myself one it's been she's like a hardcore 70s. vet yeah. Yeah. she's like yeah, been the like nom and back yeah. crawl yeah. through the fucking jungle yeah. and yeah. shit is she <laughs> <laughs> so the, so is this typically like do i in my mind strippers come and go like they they come for four or five months and then they're gone. Is that a typical? Am I right with that or no? There is always yeah. There's always a high turnover. Yeah. So you have a few girls that have stayed for a long time for years. You have a few girls who stay for a few years. <clears throat> you have a few girls that stay for a few days and then find out they don't like it, or a few months. It all depends, and it's not for everybody. But sure. there's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with that. It's not like oh you can't handle it. It's you know no, it's not easy. It is not easy whatsoever mentally, physically. Mental, that's what I was going to ask. Is it yeah. the mental that's everything? It's, why is that? Why is it not easy? To, just for people that don't understand. You ever worked customer service? <laughs> it's like hardcore customer service. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. Tell you ever worked a Black Friday? <laughs> <laughs> so. So that's typically like an every day for you guys is is that it's well I mean there's 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 creeps I'm sure you you run into yeah. them uh, I'm sure that makes it tough mentally you got to deal with that shit yeah it um, does. yeah do you get a lot of backlash from people do you do you, you I don't feel like like on your Facebook and I checked out your OnlyFans and stuff I feel like you put it out there which is a a positive thing I think that's empowering for you to do that but I feel like there's other people that won't and they're, they're t- they don't want people to know that this is what they do and I mean no offense by this is what we talked about earlier like I might ask you some stuff that seems like I'm picking on you but I'm not I'm just yeah. trying to get do you has there ever been a point in your career that you were like this that you were embarrassed of it no no Good for, good, right, good for you. Right, exactly. Walk with a good. fucking purpose. That's what I say all the time. No, see, I do walk when with a fucking drunk, purpose. When you get drunk, you say that. I do. I'm, I'm almost there. But <laughs> uh, so, so you're st- you're proud of it, which is a mm-hmm. and and you've with that you've turned this into more than just stripping. Like people would would naturally think, oh, you're just a stripper, but there's more to it. Like she's. There's, yeah. there's like a business behind yeah. this. Are you happy doing it though? I love it. I'm See, very happy. I mean, that's all that fucking matters though. And Absolutely. What, what bothers me about fucking people, people being judgy and shit like that. Whatever makes you fucking happy, fucking do it. Well, I'll tell you right now, I don't think there's a whole lot different between what she does and what a bartender does. No. Uh, and nobody will make fun of bartenders. No. I mean, yeah, of course your boobs are out. But you're making fucking money. Yep. Bartenders, I, I bounced for a while at a bar, and the bartenders will come in just almost fucking naked anyways. Right. What's, and then, what's and then the they difference? Wonder, and they needed me to protect them because they're fucking hanging their titties out, and they can't control the fucking jackasses that come in. So, But you guys have more control, though, I think. Mm-hmm. You guys are on stage. Oh, yeah. You're fucking Actually, right there. that's a good point. Where What you do is more controlled <laughs> environment than yes. what a bartender would do. Yeah. Yeah. Has there ever been any scary... Like coming out after work, getting in the car and stuff. Has there any been any times that you can remember where you were like thought shit was going to happen? Rodeo um, shaking her head. She's got some. We'll have to. Would you come on the show eventually? Oh yeah. Uh, would you? Okay. We'll get um, some different opinions and stuff. There was one, um, one time that so I ride a motorcycle. So <laughs> of course you do. Of course, that's that so freaking hot. Good for you. Good so for you. I had I had my bike. And a customer was drunk, he was angry, and he went out out um, and was acting like he was the bouncer outside after he left. And I let the bartender know, and this was a bartender from a while ago, and um, he got mad, and she told him, you can't do that. So he got mad, he started circling my bike, I don't know how he knew it was my bike, but, um, and... Cheap beer. <laughs> 
And um, so I didn't, you know, that makes you nervous when sure. he's drunk and angry. Yeah. So, um, but the, you know, I had the DJ, I had the bouncer and, um, people walk me out and so these guys are on it. I mean, there's people oh, like, and I guess that's what I mean by a controlled environment. Like yes. these people know that this can happen. Well, in you this guys industry. gotta be like a family there too, aren't you? Like the bartenders yes. and the bouncers and the DJs and stuff. You guys all watch. Oh yeah. You we gotta watch have, out for each yes. other. From yes. what I understand, I don't, I, I guess I'm asking more than telling, but. Some people have told me that the DJ can be more important than the dancer themselves because they can make or break a night. Is that correct or no? Um, when it comes to like the atmosphere, so the DJ does play a good role and a very important role. Okay, they have the microphone. They get people going. They can say stuff to get people to the stage. They announce the to girls. pump everything up. Yep, right? and, and the get, music. Yep. You play the right music. It you walk in there and then like time stops. So the, the DJ. Does all of that? I bet you there's no clocks in a strip club. There should for that be. just like a, a casino and a bar. You're not supposed to put nope. a clock for that reason. Very small clocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't want people to know that it's three and o'clock the clock, in the morning. And the clocks are only there where they can see them, not anyone else. I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. So we've got permi- uh, more or less. We got permission to talk about where you work, correct? Not permission, but we. It's not a. A secret. Oh, we no, can talk not. about it's the, all over it's, my um, right. You website, put it out there social, anyway. My social media, everything. Yeah. So if anybody is in the, and a lot of our listeners are in this area and like Massachusetts stuff, but a lot of people have probably heard of Double Vision Gentlemen's Club in Clifton Park or Latham, Clifton Park, Clifton right? Park. Yes. Okay, so that's where it's Lola, just over the West Crescent Bridge, I believe, on Route Nine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just like by exit eleven, ten. 10. 10. Yeah. Okay. I think it's time to go on a field. So we trip. go to the mill all the time. We go up to the mill yeah, all the time. It's it, right it, down it, the road. It's from right the, by the mill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so if anybody wants to check her out, that's where she is on different nights. Or follow Double Vision's Facebook page. Yeah, and definitely. I've noticed that they put out pretty much every day who's going to be yeah. who the list. So how does that work? Is that just is that scheduled just like like any other job? Really, you would they just pick out? Is, is there a method to the girls they pick? Well, um, like we Cause, have cause I noticed, like requirements, but we can pretty much make our schedule. Okay, so and pretty, they. And as long as there's enough people mm-hmm. on, enough girls on, then you know. how many girls you need on during a night or whatever? It, it depends. I'm sure Fridays and Saturdays are totally different than like a Tuesday, right? Yeah. So, well, so I work during the day. Hmm. So, is that not good or is that good? I, I guess oh, in my I mind, it. I'm thinking like I, a, like I an eight choice. till on I, a Saturday night is like the bigger night. So, I want to say four to twelve for day shift. For normal weekdays, generally, and then for that's weekend, a day shift four to twelve. Yeah, and then for weekends, it can be anywhere from like fifteen to twenty six girls. Yeah, hold okay. that many. So they put the wow. Oh wow, that's like a lot of season, girls. You see more girls in track season than you do. Like, oh the, yeah, they, well, that oh that's sense. right. These guys are close to the like Saratoga. the Saratoga Speedway. So you guys, just, you guys ever got any like big wigs in there and stuff mm-hmm. like that? Mm-hmm. Really? Wow. They probably can't there tell. Some, like, Persian Really? And then he had to give him a bunch of money to get his grandmother out of jail and I stuff like that. I was the one. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this a true story? No, the Persian I'm prince. Lost. I'm like, I don't no. know Persian people yet. I don't. It's like a scam <laughs> thing. You know, it's like a scam thing. Like, a, like a. I don't know if it's Persian, but some prince or whatever. He's in his grandmother's in jail, but he calls you up, and if you give him money. To get his grandmother out of jail or some shit like that, he'll give you like ten times more than what you gave him and shit like that. The grandson. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, "Hey, your grandson." Wow, guys, put a lot of thought into this. Mm-hmm. Girls message me on Instagram. And they're like, "I'm trying to get here from the UK or whatever. Can you send me money?" Like they have no. They just don't. They're like, "I need money." That's it. They don't have no. But I, there's creep dudes out there. There's oh, yeah. some fucking simp's out there that I'm sure are like, "Yeah, how much do you need?" Like, yeah. Uh, well, so a lot of the girls they get guys that try to scam them saying i'm looking for a sugar baby i will give you an oh. allowance now what's a sugar baby so it's well like a, a, a if she a if you baby. were a sugar daddy and she yeah, was with you she baby. would be the sugar baby it's just oh, the opposite so that's a of, sugar mama I, I used to call i'm older so no no no, no. no. mama is for a 
a guy who has a sugar mama. If she had a lot of money and you were with her for her money, you, she would, would be the sugar, sugar mama. Yeah, I'll be the sugar baby. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, so I'm the if guy. If you had the money and she was with you for your money, she would be the sugar baby. Yes. You'd be the sugar daddy. Oh, so I learned something new today. The, Didn't know that. The guy will like say, oh, I just uh, online sugar. I want you to be my online sugar baby. And it's too good to be true because, you know, no sugar, but the money. Yeah. And what they say is they're like, okay, well, I need you to send me this much and then to prove trust. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to send you your, you know, all of this money. So it's like the same thing. Or they'll ask for your bank account info to put money into your bank, but then they'll take it all oh, out. Oh, fuck, fuck that. So, How stu although there's stupid people out there. To get through the payroll or something. Yeah. Like and so, I mean, you. I get them. I just get so many of them, and there's so many different accounts, and it's almost every single one is almost word for word, if not some of them yes. word for word. Yeah. So yeah, that happens to guys. So I get the same the same thing, and when they can't speak English, I'm already out, and it's nothing against it, but I could just tell when it's a scam. Mm -hmm. I've never had a girl try to flirt with me with like. How your day today, Mister Grippen? Like what? Like <laughs> this is, first of all, if you are real, I'm not interested anyway. After that, and second of all, th you can't be real because they don't like they don't even put any thought into it. I'm sure you guys get all the same bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, or we get promoters. Mm -hmm. like, oh, so, oh yeah. they're like, oh, we promise to give you ten thousand followers on your mm -hmm. Instagram. All you have to do is give us fifty bucks, a hundred bucks, this mm -hmm. much, and. You might get followers, but those followers are bots. Uh, so they're all fake so followers. So if you don't mind me, can I ask you, and now this is like the day in the life of a stripper. If you don't want to go into this, it's perfectly fine. But like, how much do you make in the day? It depends. So, so like on would the you say low it's more side, lucrative than a bartender? I um, and The only reason it, it, I think no is because I feel like there's just more bar patrons than there would be at a club. So, okay, so like the bartender is serving drinks constantly, so she's yes. always getting tips. Some of the tips, I, you know, if you just happen to see, they're great tips. Some people tip just a dollar, 50 cents, $3 or something. So I feel like we make more money based on the service. Like mm -hmm. the dan like I give a dance, I make more money than if I she gives the guy a beer. But right, right. she's giving more beers or more drinks, and you know I'm not giving, yeah, all the time. So, it, but it all depends. There are guys that go in just to have a drink, so and they yeah, don't right. they don't want dances, they don't want to tip the girls or anything. Sometimes they just want to go in for the food, just have like food and, and a drink, and no, it, there's there's like food. Like night food moves food, got good chicken tenders, dude. Well, we're not here for night moves. Well, I know I, that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Moves can we, good chicken tenders. I guess we can. I guess we could say that name, right? It right, doesn't I matter. Why not? Yeah, but. I guess the, I'm sure. There, I just feel like there's like rivalry or something. We got to be careful. I don't know how. Are this you guys works. like rivals though? Like different strip clubs and stuff like that? Do you guys like rival against each other? Like I'm better than you or whatnot? Oh, I don't. I don't pay attention. I just you guys just do your own thing and do. make your My money and go home. Strip club has their own atmosphere. Just don't. All I'm gonna say really is there's one where I grew up in Colony. It's Taurus Connectedy on Central Avenue. Don't ever work there. Why? It's ghetto. I went well, there. I'm sure there's no, no, ones no, 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 it, no, because there's another one on the other end of Central Avenue that's more towards Albany. The one that closed down now, are you talking about? What yeah. Are, what that, are you talking about? Shenanigans? The Carlos? Yeah, is that shenanigans with okay. the Carlos. He had, the, he had the Carlos on one end towards Albany, and he had shenanigans on the other end towards Connectedy. And mm -hmm. my bachelor party, when we went out and everything, started in the Carlos. The Carlos was great. Good time, good atmosphere. And then at the end of the night, we go down to freaking... Um, shenanigans and this chick comes up to give me a lap dance because i'm the bachelor and everything i first time ever ever pushed a girl away from me and said can you please get away from me and she's like why because did you just have your baby now because that's oh, she just no that shit stunk so bad like oh. gagging like like type shit it was nasty and that's that's most of their girls there and then their clientele that comes into them come from schenectady 
It would it just don't ever go there, please. That smell goes away with enough alcohol. No, 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 it doesn't. Because I was pretty well <laughs> fucked up that night, and I was fucking gagging. I'm like, give me the fuck out of here right now. I seriously, I think she just had her baby in the back room, like hours before she came out on stage. It was. It was I'm about ready to puke right now. Yeah. What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so what's a typical? What is a typical tip? Not for VIP, not for whatever. But like, if you're just up on the stage and guys are standing around, what is a typical? Is it a dollar or no? No. It's if more. somebody gives me a dollar, I give them back and say, oh, you fuck. probably need this oh, more. Oh, okay. And so do- a dollar, two dollars, five dollars for a dance is insulting at this point. Because well, no, well, not, not a dance, but on... On the stage? If people just... No, 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 not like... Like, it, it all depends on the stage. So if there's somebody just throwing, you know, a couple singles you know mm-hmm. if you're staying up there for a long time then it would be nice for you to at least you know so going to a, so going to a club with a bunch of dollar bills is, isn't a thing anymore no, yes it is so you, we have so singles. dollars are fine as long as you continue to oh, throw yes, them yes and, but like and, one dollar i i have yeah. had people on stage where i've done a whole stage dance mm-hmm. and they the whole time they were they just had one dollar. Oh out no no and like no no! Words, and then they put one more dollar out, and I'm like, what? Did, like this is I'm, I just yeah, left left them on the stage. Like it ain't that's worth oh. doing it. All right, because normally, because I, I, to be honest with you, I haven't been to many strip clubs. I can count mm. how many times I'm here and I've been to a strip club, and it's at least four. And is that the same hand you use when you left the strip club. Yep. Okay. So normally, when I when the girl came on. It was dollar bills, but it wasn't just one dollar bill. Yes, it yeah. was dollar bill after yes. dollar bill so after that, dollar oh, bill. That's, that's fine. That's, that's great. fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. But, All right. Just don't uh, leave a dollar for the entire dance. Is what yeah. you're saying. So it's not like okay. getting your drink at the bar where the, the bartender brings you your beer and you just leave one dollar and you're good. So when I turned 18, the first time I turned 18, I went to a strip club, and I had no idea what was going on, and I was young. I was like skinny little. Like I was little kid basically. And uh, I went in, I did the cover charge, it was two, I remember it was, it was a cover charge and it was two drink minimum, and it was completely nude, it was the other one we took, it was Night Moves. And I go in there, Good chicken fingers. I was so fucking nervous, you know, a whole bunch of guys were all 18, we're like, yeah, let's go, we're tough, and we get up, and as soon as we walk in the door, it's like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? And so we get in there, and I'm tipping $10 per tip. I think I went through $350 Holy in shit. no time because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And I didn't want, like, I don't know how it is where you guys were, but there was, like, people standing by the door. And so I'm like, I'm getting kicked the fuck out of here if I don't leave. So, and I'd never had, um, a, what was it a private dance? Is that what it's called? The champagne so, like, when room they, they, or whatever you, used to be you called. You guys go around after the dance, right, and come up and... Like, hey, do you guys want to go in the back room? Oh, Is that so? Yeah, the we have the back room, we have mm-hmm. VIP, and we have floor dances. Okay, so floor dances is what? Like the people out in the back of the crowd? So, well, I no, mean, no, they're the ones on the stage. The stage. No, st- okay. the stage dance is on the stage. That's people one sit thing. Sit at the t- tip rail, mm-hmm. um, and you and you don't go. Any other girl does not go up to the people at the tip rail because the attention's on the girl on the stage. Okay. So people tip for that, you know, just throw dollars. It's whatever. It, it, it that varies. Um, when you do floor dances, it's like people sitting in the chairs or people mm-hmm. sitting at in the, the bar. main room. Yes, in the in, main in the cl- in the main club in, okay. room. So I mean, and then what's a, the one? So this girl, but she's like, do you want to come in? And then you have private dance. So there's yes. like, so you have, so basically you have like a like a like a. a a silver, a gold, and a platinum type thing, right? So you got the stage, and then you got a, a floor dance, and then you have like so a floor dance is like a teaser, a teaser, and yeah. then and then from there you go to your. Is what? that when you guys ask if you want to go in for the VIP room for the private dance? Well, I mean, there's people who don't even want a floor dance; they just want to go right in the back. Or there's people who just say, "Let's just go right to VIP. I want VIP with you all day." Which one's better, VIP or or, or back? VIP is better than I private. Mean, I mean it. It all depends. So, like, I've had people tip me for a two song. I've had people tip me three hundred dollars. Shit. You know, but then for like VIP, usually people tip very well for VIP. But now, is there like a difference of what you do in VIP room compared to like it's it, the back room or the floor dance and stuff it, like that? It all 
all depends. I have had, I've had people buy me for VIP all day, and they just gave me a back rub, a foot rub. Just wanted to hang out and talk. Oh, so you, they can touch. You can touch. You can't touch boobs, pussy, and I have to say you can't touch butthole. Okay. Butt but you crack. can touch the butt, but you just can't touch the crack or the hole. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't go, like, crazy with, like, grabbing mm -hmm. the ass. Now, like, is there somebody monitoring that, though, while you're back there? Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like in that situation, things could get out of control pretty Real quick. quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you're oh, getting yeah. a big guy in there with you, and then... I mean, I'm not saying I'm not taking anything away from you, but you know, yeah. you get a bigger guy, he can overpower you real quick. But you got people monitoring that yeah. stuff and everything. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So I was doing this tipping stuff, right? And because I, I didn't know any better, and I thought that's how you had to to tip. And I'm assuming because of that, looking back as I'm older now, they probably fucking loved me because at ten dollars, oh, yeah. I'm assuming ten dollars every time. There was no dollar bills or fives. Well, in dude, my, you fucking blow your load on one girl if you were giving ten dollars all at one shot. Well, so I almost went through a thousand dollars that night, and I thought that's what strip clubs were. And I'm like, I'm never going to a fucking I strip mean, club again. We're not going to complain. So sure. In fact, she came out later on after there was a couple other dances, and then she comes out and comes up to the chair. She that didn't I was give you there. money back though, did she? No, well, of course she took not. more. She's she's like, do you want? <laughs> this she is a business, board. Matt. This is they, she knew what she was doing. I was eighteen. I have no fucking idea. And I was still in that stage. I was like, she fucking likes me. This girl fucking like. She took my hat. And she was dancing around the thing with my hat on. And I thought I was. I, I was think, in love. Actually, I, no. Actually, no. I think we should do. I think we should actually take a field trip <laughs> and go to a strip club again and do it the right way. You know, go through the progressions, you know, go up to the stage and get the dollar bills and then go and move on and move on. Just don't blow your load all on the stage. Well, so she came up to the chair to me and asked if I wanted a private dance or whatever. Whatever it was, I ended up, I was like, okay. And I went back, she took me back through this thing. There was like little rooms and stuff. And I went in there and she shut the curtain and she put a towel on my leg. Does that sound familiar? She, I mean, it depends it's, on the club. It depends, it depends on the club. Okay. The, so she, oh, but is the towel there so you don't have like skin to skin like, contact or something like that? Yes. If it's full nude, the towel goes down for we are obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't want no. Where, where's my, where's my sound? She's a squirter. She's a squirter. So, <laughs> so the she puts the towel down, and again, I'm I I'm in love. I'm thinking she's in love. Like we're this is a relationship you guys now. Are I'm thinking your marriage out already, honeymoon right. and everything, weren't you? Like this fucking good. So you guys were going to like. She got my hat on or still and shit. Or something. She comes in and the first thing she says is she says it's seventy five dollars a dance, and guys usually tip three times that. I'm in my head. I'm trying to do quick math without looking like an idiot at eighteen, and I'm like seventy five times three. I'm like holy fuck, what did I do here? I'm this is like two hundred and something dollars is going to cost for this thing. Is that a typical? Was that right or did I get fucking scammed? I mean, you're calling your hotter, boss up for your next the week's tip, check. Hotter the dance, <laughs> bigger the bill, bigger the thrill. So. Well, yeah, I, mean, I get. I didn't know that at the time. I was yeah. too naive to know that, but I just thought that was like the price. I can't remember. Anyway, I left there and it was like nine hundred and something dollars I had fucking spent on that, and I was at an age where money wasn't like that was going to be like a fucking muffler for my car. You made your, you made someone happy that night. I was like, I ain't go, I ain't go. So, but she even told me like, I want like being so young. I'm I'm like this. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. She's like dancing all around. She's like, you can touch me. And so and she had to like take my hand. She's like putting my hand. I it was so fucking <laughs> awkward. I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm done. I'm now, going. I'm let never. Let me ask you a question now. Can you tell who's a sucker and who's a not? Like if you're out there dancing, I bet you can. And like you're like, all right, I'm gonna go see you after I'm done with my stage dance because I know I can get like three, four hundred bucks out of you. Do you guys do that? Um, be I mean, honest. I can tell if you're if you're new. Like if you haven't really been, you're usually people are shy. They don't know what to say, and stuff. <laughs> I look like I was about fifteen that night. Too. They yeah. could tell. They yeah. could tell who I, I was. She, well, I think she's being nice. She just want to give too much away. But you guys know who who you guys can get your money from, and you can't get your money from Kenya. I mean, it's hit or miss. Yeah, when it's when hit or miss like you know the customers that are coming. Yeah. In. So like, but the thing is, is like when I go up go up to people, like I always say. Like, I'm not here to make you broke because if I sit there and you feel like you're scammed, you're not going to keep coming back to me and hanging out with me. And it, that's not good for the business. You know what I mean? So, like, if I'm, like, scamming somebody, they're just, but if they have a good time 
and they tip me well. And we're all, ha- you know, and they and they get a good dance, a good experience. So that's like what happened with me. I'm like, after that night, even though maybe that's a normal price, I just thought in my head, like, I got ripped off. So I did, yeah. I was like, I'm done with fucking yeah. strip so clubs. Yeah, so see, I, then you didn't, you didn't so go So I back. get what you're saying. So you got to be careful of. of you. I don't know. Did she? Is that typical I, price? I, like I 250 know. for a, well, I like you know. say, the more you spend, the more you get. Yeah. Like, she, what's a minimum she, dance? Were you naive what's that? Did she take advantage of you or were you? Oh no, it was all me. <laughs> she just didn't say no. Like she's there to work. She's oh, yeah. there to make money. So I'm not blaming her. It was me. Well, I was just young and stupid. So I always like tell them how much like, you know, a, a dance is. Can you tell how much that is? Can you tell it on the on the for the recording or no? Well, like if you and me were in the back room and you were doing your spiel, could you do that right now or no? Um, I don't I don't know. I don't Like how much would it if we were so in the like back we, room, so what would you what we do is we um so to go to the back room, mm-hmm. you pay a set price to the bar. So it's like it's oh, like, that doesn't go to you. So we make we make tips. So mo- oh. it, and it, we always we always let you know ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So um, I mean, like I said, hotter the tip, hotter the dance. You know. All right. Still- so they pay like a fat or like a flat rate to the bar. Like I'm going to pay. Yeah, yeah, fifty bucks to get into the room, and then what you do mm-hmm. after that is up to you. So if you're only throwing out dollar bills, you ain't gonna do shit for the guy. So, um, unless you throw out a lot of them. Well, yeah, well, I have yeah, people, real lot. Yeah. But I mean, if you're throwing out twenties and fifties and shit like that and hundreds, of course you guys are gonna get crazier. So, like, right? I've been there for like going on seven years, so I know what I'm doing. So I always like, and I always recommend. You know, a tip, you know, like, and what most people tip me. So I always say, this is what most people tip me. And then, you know, I say, but hotter the tip, hotter the dance. So you choose, you know. And um, I mean, if people don't want to tip, then I'm, I mean, I'm not going to give right. that great of a dance. I sure. mean, I can just like. You can do the minimum yeah. like they're doing to you, yeah, basically. Because, and so, and how I explain it is, you know, because. Usually, usually people tip up front for the um, back rooms and stuff because, like, <clears throat> nobody likes to work for free. Sure. This is my job. Just right, like this is a job still yes. for you guys, right? People yes. probably I lose track it. of that. Yeah, I love it, but I still have I have bills to pay. Mm-hmm. I have a life, you know, like. And it's hard physical. Yeah, work. it is. Yeah, we put I can't and, dance and, anyway. And, period. And, and let we, alone for hours. And the thing is, is people think like. Oh, you're a stripper. You make so much money. Well, we make what people tip, you know? And so, like, the thing is, too, and we should be making a lot of money because we're in lingerie or topless on the stage and we're giving dances. Like, we should be right, making money. This is not money. shit that you're going to see on a regular basis. No, you're, right. This is a, you're coming in. It's a luxury. It's not, not a necessity. It's a mm-hmm. luxury, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, and you're going to pay for luxury. Yeah. That's what I mean, you're gonna have to. It, it is what it is. Yep. What's a typical? Uh, n- would you say a thousand dollars a night is low? Oh, it it all depends. Oh, so it varies so you, quite a bit. Yeah, you can make. I've made a thousand dollars, or made over a thousand dollars. Um, there are days where you make like a couple hundred. You know, it all depends on who's in there. And the thing is, is a lot of people say like during the day, oh, there's not many people in, you know, how do you don't, people, girls That's don't what I thought. Oh, That's no, what I assume. You probably get the businessmen coming yes. in under lunch breaks and shit like that. So it okay. doesn't matter how many people are in because I have worked nights <clears throat> and there are, it is packed and it is garbage. And it's not garbage because like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've been there a long time. I know what I'm doing. It's all depends on who's in there. There could be one person that walks in, one person the it whole makes day, your night. and you make over $1,000. I remember that night. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, no, you know, if you look at it, though, no. But, it yeah. could be it could be like a Saturday night. You got you and your young college buddies, 21 mm-hmm. years old, because you have to be 21 to get in there, right? Mm-hmm. So they got to be able to drink. They ain't got fucking money. Oh, it's money. 21 now? Oh, because it's a bar. It's, it's a bar. It's a, okay. Yeah. So they ain't got money. To fucking throw around, so they're going in there to drink and get laid, or not get laid, but getting in there to drink and shit like that. They're not going to be throwing all their money at the stripper. So, yeah, I can see why it look packed, because you go in there with 10 of your buddies. You want them to think they're getting laid, though, am I correct? I mean, does that help you make money? Okay, so 
I do not like. It's a fantasy world. Exactly right. So, I'm not saying you do no, that. I Don't know. take offense. No, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not taking offense. But, that's but it's what, a fantasy world. If they w- are paying for a fantasy mm-hmm. and they want a fantasy, then that is my job to give them the fantasy, not complete it, obviously, but oh. give them the thought process. So, but at the same time, if somebody is really adamant about like going home with me or anything like that, I you know the. the I tell them what time it is. Like, this is my job. You know, if you want something outside of the club, I have my OnlyFans. Okay. There you go. So there, there's an elephant in the room, and I'm sure a lot of the listeners, I've always wanted to know this, and you probably won't be able to answer it. And that's fine, because I get why. But the first question people ask about this industry is, for enough money, can I bring a girl home with me? I have been offered $10,000 for a weekend, and I said no. I'm good for you. So well, you said no, but has other people other probably girls, will. Okay, I, there could. is something about this that is like huge. If somebody wants to do full service, a lot of people think that that's wrong and that lowers them. It does not. It is still sex work. It is still a job. Okay. I don't want to do that. That is my choice. Mm-hmm. If as long as it is <clears throat> their choice to do it and they're willing to and they're in it. They're respected and everything. They should be able to do it. Sure. So, so it's not a weird question. To all, I guess my thing with that is, if for instance, if I was in there, I would. I always thought to myself, I'm not going to ask because I don't want to get kicked out or I don't want to look like an asshole for asking that. But at the same time, if you don't ask, you'll never know. No. So I always wanted to know if that was like I, a. Some people get very offended when people ask. Okay. If somebody asks me once. I will say no, and if they they usually say, "Oh, I'm sorry for asking." Okay, well, you won't know if you don't ask. You okay, know, good. so you know now. Now you know my boundary. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the point of it. So if you ask, then you know I say no. If you continue, then I'm going to start to take offense, right? Because of I said no, mm-hmm. and set up a boundary, and you need to respect that. So there is girls that will do it. It sounds like correct. Not not in you. No, I mean, I mean, or any in, in particular. The but whole industry, like, well, of course, there's all, girls walking down the side of the street that would yes. do it. I guess so. so it doesn't I'm just necessarily the whole, mean like sex work industry. It, there are a lot of girls that mm-hmm. do full service. So I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I if you're the thing is is if you're in the club if you're in the club atmosphere that is a fantasy world. Sure. So it should not be intermingled with the club. It's not a girl. This yeah. no, this makes my point yeah, yeah. right here. That's, so right. so you like if if girls outside of like strip clubs and stuff do that, that is fine. But once you start like intermingling things, then so it's, it's like it's See, it, I like it, this though. I like what she just told us right now. Cause this proves a point. And a lot of people, and I think it's wrong, will might look at you guys and say, they're whores. They're not whores. They dance, they shake their titties around, and they make money. They're not... Well, and you're not automatically going to be already whore. said whore is not a bad no, word anyway. No, okay, okay no. No, well, not a whore. It's 2022. Yeah, we love right. whores and sluts. Right, now. Right, I don't. Well, <laughs> yes, look, we I do. Well, no, <laughs> yes, no, we I'm do. Just saying, no, no. <laughs> From the past, people always thought strippers... Whatever. You know, negative, dancers, yes. there were whores. You guys are whores. You guys are dirty whores. Oh, and, I mean, this people still that. call You guys are. You negative. guys are actually people, and you have boundaries. You have yes. boundaries. You dance, you shake your titties, you make money, and you have fun doing it. That's yeah. good. You know who thinks yeah, they're but, whores is people that don't look the part and can't do it themselves. Well, they yeah. don't have the balls to do it themselves. Because if they could yeah. make the money doing that, they would too. Well, yeah. Fuck, if I was hot and sexy, Jealousy I would runs shake my a lot shit around, of shit, too. A lot of bad oh, yeah. feelings in the world. But, you know, but it, but it just proves, though. I mean... No, here pe- we go. What people do here, here it no, goes. No, no. You got to follow... What is it you say? You, you got to walk with a purpose. Walk with a purpose, But what Lola. makes you happy, and that's all that matters, <laughs> mm-hmm. is so you do what makes you happy. You know, but they're 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 still people. They're human beings. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm no... I'm just... I'm, it's a, I'm just... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I 
get what you're doing. I know what you mean. I know what you're saying. I'm trying to <clears throat> let people or make people understand that. I, I, yeah, you got me all fucked up and retarded now, so I can't even. Trying to but, shove it in me. Uh, it's that goes along with it, and it's mostly untrue. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> you, you guys are people, and you're not what people. Work is a lot more than just shaking titties and throwing ass. We're therapists. We're therapists. Oh, We're I never thought about that. Yes. Broken souls through their hardships. We're there making friends with lonely people. You hear that, babe? You're therapists. People, don't know how to socialize. <laughs> people that can't get it at home. Yeah, yeah. You guys save relationships. Yeah. You guys very well. Actually, could. I'm kind of being more. I say it people like you can't even go out in the world and just make a friend sometimes too. Like the people the, yeah. have such terrible social anxiety that like they need a strong woman to approach them and be like, "Hey, this is what we're doing today. Let's party." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of these guys can't get laid at home, so they go there, spend a couple hours, and they go home, and and everything. It's probably better than cheating. I'm a pretty good dog, but if you don't pet me every now and then, I ain't yeah. gonna stay on the porch. You go to a strip club for a couple hours, you come home, relationship saved, done. Yeah. Well, and some people who find the, the effort of maintaining a relationship as too hard, but they want that, like, intimate connection. Right. It really reminds them that, like, they can have it, you know, it just costs a little extra. <laughs> and, it, and it should. Or that, or I the mean, whole thing. relationships cost something. <laughs> Period. Yeah. Exactly. That's right. It probably costs a lot less to go to a strip club than it does for a divorce. and thousands and thousands <laughs> of dollars a month. <laughs> But no, no, but actually, no, but you guys are also fulfilling people's fantasies, too, because mm -hmm. there's something that they can't do at home, and they're maybe afraid to bring up to their wives or their spouse or whatever, and they could do there, possibly. Let's dig in with Lola a little bit. What is a fantasy of yours? If this was, re roles were reversed, what's a fantasy of yours? <laughs> yeah, definitely rodeo. Oh my god, that is my wife. Yes. <laughs> that's also my fantasy. So that's funny to watch to watch that. Yeah. Uh, so another girl, would you say, is your fantasy? Is one is part of it? Are we talking about like fantasy, like that? Well, what I'm trying. So I'll, I guess I'll just be blunt. What I'm trying to do is bring people close, our listeners closer to you if as you a person. Had, if you had your choice of whatever could be done to you, what would it be? I want our listeners driving down the road playing with themselves, so, but with Pretty this much. conversation, it basically, is what I'm going for. Oh what would your God. fantasy in bedroom in the bedroom be? So, like, I'm into like the possibility of getting caught. I kind of like that. That's like yeah. a fantasy of mine. <laughs> Not oh, here we go. Don't, don't start. I guess, uh, hey, whore. I'm still 18. I feel like I'm still 18. <laughs> hey, whore. What's uh? So, uh, your if you were in bed with some, well, it doesn't have to be in bed. I don't know how to word what I'm trying to say. Do you know what I'm getting at? Yeah, I know what you're getting at. Like, what's your fantasy? Like, what drives you and turns you on? Yes. Um, because you know I what haven't guys, had, what, that I haven't had, probably, ro definitely rodeo. <laughs> so you want rodeo? Oh, definitely. D that was definitely a proposition. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely, there was oh, she, hints she's, in that. Oh yeah, we play cat and mouse. Mm -hmm. We like that could be fun. That's it a fantasy close? of itself. Oh, yeah. Has it come close? I mean, uh, if you subscribe to our OnlyFans, maybe you'll find out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's only quarter to four. We got time. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. <laughs> there, what do you do? With, so, all right. So, let's do, let's talk about that. You, so, you do the, the club and you do, you, you've branded your name, correct? Mm -hmm. So, what does that entail? What is, if our listeners check out your name, what are the, what's that about? So, um, I am published on Suicide Girls three okay. times. I just shot my fourth set which is in the process of being like edited and getting back to me. For people that don't know Suicide Girl, we talked about it already, but yep. the listeners don't. You, you mentioned it, it's basically Playboy, but like badass. Yeah, so that's of. how I describe it. Okay. So um, it's an online magazine. I don't believe that it's a paper magazine <clears throat> anymore, but it's like you go from clothed or lingerie, a whole set, all the way to like stripping to nude. Okay. So it's like the Playboy version of like tattooed models or like it's like. But it's modeling, not porn, correct? It's not porn okay. because there's no sexual activity. Gotcha. So um, it's it's like what n is not normal beauty standards. So it's women coming together and saying, fuck beauty standards. This is beautiful. And it's like an online magazine of that. Fuck yeah. Tattoos and clowns. Let's go. <laughs> Matt, for anybody listening and not watching on YouTube, Matt's pretty much naked now. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. He's got Nicole's I, I, lipstick drawing lips on himself. No, I'm and telling shit. You, that's, that's my kryptonite. Fucking tattoos on a girl. 
Nicole, do you have tattoos? Two tiny ones. That's right. Oh, that's right. I but, remember them, but too. But they're in the right spot, though. Yeah. Yeah. But, one on her back, one on her thigh. Yeah. yeah really? You, yeah, you know. Swear to God? You that's see it? To, oh, okay. No. <laughs> I was just teasing him. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how uh, I can't even ask you how many tattoos you have. There's just oh, you have, you're at a point now place. where it's. I have head to ankle. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's becoming a big thing now. There's it's something on TikTok lately. With there's who's the chick that's got like that scar? Do you go on TikTok a lot or no? Do you know the blonde chick yeah. with the scar? She used to have the scar over. She's got the neck. She's all tatted up. Uh, well. Matt, go ahead for a minute. I'm going to find Oh, well, well, tattoos. So <laughs> when did you start your first tattoo? Uh, I made the appointment when, right when I turned 18. So did I. Shit, look at that. And then what you start with? Something stupid? No, I got the big death bat on oh, the side. Oh, really? Like my first tattoo this big on the side of my like, Oh, wow. Because when I started, I got those stupid little fucking yin-yang sun on the arm. And then oh, from right. there, it grew and grew and grew and stuff oh, like no, that. Oh, no. I went big first. Like... Nice, nice, yeah. nice. That chick. Now let me ask you a question night. about tattoos. Do you, do you find them enjoyable her? when you get them? You never um, do you like the pain from them? Some of them hurt. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't. But they hurt. But is it like a good hurt? Because I always so, felt the tattoos so, I got, it would hurt. But it was a good hurt, though. I liked it. Sometimes. Sometimes. Therapeutic. It, it, yes. Well, sometimes it's brutal. Like, bad. Brutal. And this is what. Like my kneecap, um, right above my pussy, Oof. my hip bone. Brutal. And this is what, what pisses what, me you, off though with tattoos. A, is that on your OnlyFans? The one above your pussy? Is that above? Yeah. Is, can I? Can somebody see that on OnlyFans if, if they, they wanted to? If they pay extra. Okay. So okay. So like right. OnlyFans, a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, I pay for a subscription. I should see everything." Well, mine is. I mean, if you wanted me to make mine like a hundred dollars a month, then maybe I'll. Well, I know. really liked what you said about how it's a cover charge. Yes. Yeah. So mine is twelve dollars a month. But you're not going to see me, like, fucking myself. You're not going to see me nude. You're not going to see me anything for less than 50 cents a day. I'm worth more than that. Mm -hmm. So $12 gets you in. And then you see, you see the timeline. You see the little previews. If you have re Renew on, where it automatically renews your subscription every month, you get, you know, a couple little surprises throughout the month. And then I, I make, like, um, a bunch of content. I tell what it is, I give a little preview, and I send it out in a message. And then you have the option of buying it or not. So, so at this like, point, the, the listeners are probably wondering, where where can I find this? What's What, what do they search for on OnlyFans to find you? So um, Lola Montez 1821 VIP for my okay. paid one. That's the good one. That's the one you're, well, yeah, that, they're both pretty decent. I looked at both of them, but yeah. that's the one you go to if you want to see more. If yes. you want to get a hold of you, like send you tips oh, yeah, and get yeah. more. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and what will you do on there for them? For the right amount of money? I mean, will you do any, like intercourse? Is that like, will you have sex? Um, I am. Not obviously with them, but. Yeah. Um, well, I am working on possibly doing partner Okay. The issue there, I feel like, and I've known some other OnlyFans girls, that the issue is finding somebody that's willing to do it with them. Yeah. I and I, and, and, and you get so many people that, like, I get so, like, on my Lola Facebook and Instagram and stuff, I have, like, I don't I don't even, like, <clears throat> get back to, I, I don't talk to anyone. I tell people, go on my OnlyFans if you want to talk to me. I didn't, when I messaged you guys on Facebook, I didn't think you guys would message me. Well, I figured you were so used yeah, to be, people. because somebody that I know got a hold of okay. me first. Right. So, otherwise... I wouldn't have just because there's so many people and they're like, oh, well, the, the classic line is, well, I'll be your partner for, for only fans, you know? And it's mm. like, okay, well, no, 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 we're no. So it doesn't just work that way, no, buddy. it doesn't because let me see, um, what's, how is it going to benefit me anyways? Hypothetically, right. if I were to just like say, okay, well, how is it going to benefit me? Do you have OnlyFans already? Do you have a huge following where it would grow my followers, grow my business, grow my... No? You don't have... You don't even... You've never even signed up for OnlyFans? Okay, so, like, right. why? So, basically, yeah, you just want to fuck me. Yeah, and that's, you just want to hook up. No, right. No, no, no. Oh, no, yeah, I think we'll bring you way. a lot of money if you brought Rodeo in with you on OnlyFans, or has that happened already? Well, aren't you? I thought I seen a post. <laughs> Didn't you make a... Or some, one of you guys made a post about something coming up, right? Or no? Or was that somebody else? Oh, no. We're, 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 yeah. If you guys could see the looks right now. Now, yeah. Rodeo, mm -hmm. now, now, do you have an OnlyFans page? Oh, yes, she shit. She, okay, so how I describe Rodeo is... <laughs> Let's hear this. I can't the, wait. 
Energizer Bunny looks up to her for energy. Keeps she going is, and going oh and going God, and going. She does not stop. I don't. Does not stop. She can't. Insatiable she can't. Like it's it's amazing. <laughs> And so her OnlyFans is just like, and she's, she is like, yeah, she is the most creative person. Do you do more than her? She does more creative things, like out of this world. So mine, I do like cosplay. I do like Mm -hmm. comedy bits. I do like TikTok voiceover kind of shit. Are you a gamer? Oh, yeah. Are you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what a lot of like the cosplay stuff comes from that. Like a lot of the girls, I can't think of any of their names that we were talking about in the pool. I can't think of any of their names, but... It's kind of I don't know it's growing on me like, that like pink like, hair and, dude it is and, 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 and yes Delphi yes OG. oh my god she's the reason I got into the online sex work thing like I joined Patreon and didn't she disappear for a little while now she she's back because she got like sued for like major scam and like okay laundry and stuff or whatever. is she the one that did the hot tub thing yeah she sold her bath water holy holy yeah. shit <laughs> tell me no actually can I ask you guys <laughs> like. Let me ask you guys a question. If you want to buy some bath water. No, no, I don't want to buy bath we water. We're using social media, right? It's fun to share our story and even more fun to see his big cock growl. <laughs> but just imagine if there was a way to earn a from editing. your social media. Yeah, I did yeah, a little yeah, editing. Yeah, yeah. Your followers but actually no, let me ask you guys a serious you question. Big cock. Welcome to OnlyFans. <laughs> All right. Now, let me guys ask you a serious question on this. Now, you guys are on the younger side and stuff like that. Of stuff like what, Matt? Stuff like that. No, they're on the younger Sex? side. Yeah, I feel like... They're, no, they're, they're on the younger side. They're, they're, well, they're younger than me. Okay. So All right, there we they're go. They're younger than me. So say another 15, 20 years down the road. Are you guys going to look back and be like, what the fuck did I just do with my oh, life? Uh-uh. No. Actually, I, um, I, to I'm glad you about asked the that. Age, I'm 74 in stripper years, so... <laughs> Yes. Well, you're a veteran now. And I get you, what you're you saying about that you because there's a now. time limit. Oh, ever no, well, he, no, I mean, it's just it's because like every year I've been there is adds 7 years because you know, I'm a dog. You were a dog. No. She was crawling through the bush. But, <laughs> through no. the bush. Through, through the, the bush. bush. Yeah. Through the bush. Um Oh my god, guys get so offended when I say that. They're like, "Don't insult yourself like that." I'm like, "I have dirtier thoughts than you." So, oh, they're, fuck, they're fucking simp's. Some yeah. people, some people, you're so beautiful. Like, dude, you can have a fucking opinion you're, you're about not, a girl. You can think one girl is good looking and the other girl isn't. You're, you're you're not a you're not a stripper. Don't talk down about yourself. You're yeah. exotic dancer. No, I strip. Them my are the ones off. that give you big money. I bet. The, what? Oh, he's raising his hand. What do you got? Huh. Oh, you got a pee? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You could do that. You could do that. We're adults here. Uh, so, I don't know. What were you just talking about? Personally, I'm looking forward to being like 85. And Actually, would you be on the... Do you mean... Looking fire pictures of my pussy on like you, a slideshow. Oh, yeah. Um, looking back at I, it. I would I'm love... I can't wait to see that of yours, too. I literally can't wait too. to be there, like full dementia. And be like, would you be on the camera for a couple minutes while he's gone? Just to give oh, people yeah. a... And you know what? It might. I'm thinking it might help with getting people to tune in for the next one. Hey, what up, y'all? Is this Rodeo... Rodeo, Rodeo Rusk. Galaxy. Galaxy Rusks. Sorry. Why did you say... that was It was cool how you did that with before because you're the center of the galaxy that's or something, right. right? It's my galaxy. You guys right. are just living in it. So that's Rodeo. Uh, she's also a double vision and OnlyFans. What's your OnlyFans? Goddess of Tees. Goddess of Tees. You only have one, right? You don't have a free one in it? I have a free one. The free one's Rodeo Galaxy. Okay. But I started as Goddess of Tees. All right. And uh, that's the good one. What will you do? Same same type of thing. You'll you'll if people tip you, you'll do. Yeah, yeah. there's an entry fee. You can make requests. Um, you know, I do like little special things for the people who are signed up for another month. Okay. You know, things like that. The more I see you commenting, can you and pull liking, that up a little closer? Sorry. The more I see you, you like go. commenting and liking on my stuff, the more I'm gonna. Oh, so like you guys pay attention to, to this? Oh, shit. Yeah. oh, absolutely. It's all about stats. Wow, my fucking TikTok people mess. I don't even pay attention. Maybe I should. Well, pay so atten- yeah, but that's we get paid for like. Oh, that's true. The only yeah, fans that's and right. stuff. I don't so that we mm-hmm. on my Facebook, on my Instagram. I mean, like it, that. that <clears throat> it is what it is, right. you know. Like, but I pay attention on the OnlyFans because. So what? So the chances yeah. we we've talked about this a million times, and I hate to keep bringing it up and bugging you about it, but for the listeners, because now that they see Rodeo and they've seen you the whole show, what are the possibilities of a uh, you two uh, doing an OnlyFans something on OnlyFans? I mean, that's something we've definitely been talking about. Uh, we just want to make sure we get it right for our fans because we don't want to sell them subpar content. Yeah. Sure. It's like like we're both perfectionists mm-hmm. and we both like 
need perfect like quality and everything. So it's like it's like we're not going to do some like amateur quick thing. We are mm-hmm. like right, it, right. You want it, it to be we're not gonna look right and to, something to, in. We're no. going to make sure that it goes all and, out. And and she's worth it. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Fuck, my pants are getting tight. <laughs> Fucking pants are getting tight right now. Uh, I get it. I get what you're doing. You don't want it. There's people out there that will do OnlyFans on their cell phone, like their selfie camera. On there. It's shit's blurry. You can't see stuff. That's, uh, that's how I, I do I, most of it. And online. it sounds like you yeah. don't. Yeah, but you, uh, it's. That's how you it was guys, at first when I did it. I wasn't really, didn't really get it. Yeah. And then once I really started like studying and stuff and I just like started revamping everything, it took a few times of like revamping. And now I've like, I feel like I've got it. It's like the way that I market it, the way that I put things up, the captions, the, you know what they say? A trimmed deck is a big deck. That's they don't, my deck That's ain't big either way. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Priority <laughs> Earthworks. PriorityEarthworks.net. If you have mulching for commercial, residential, or any overgrown that you would like to take care of. What about pri- your bush? Will he, will he trim your bush? He will trim the bush. It's just hot <laughs> off the presses right here. You know, his name's Adam, 518-669-5401. He will trim your bush. He will keep your property clean, trimmed, and proper. Again, call Adam at 518-669-5401 or PriorityEarthWorks.net. It's hot off the press. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Like There's a lot in the captions. There's a lot goes into the captions that people don't realize. Messages. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, So, uh, um, do you think of OnlyFans as a career? Could you make a career out of that? Or It comes up a lot where a lot of people say it's not. A lot of people say it is. You think it is? Everybody's different. It's a full time job. I feel like the haters that. say that it's not a real job yeah. because they don't. That's understand. people that can't do it themselves. Well, they oh, don't yeah. understand the amount of work that goes into oh, it. I mean, we're thirty minutes on lighting before we even start shooting yeah. something after two hours of makeup. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know? people think you just take pictures of your tits and your ass, and it looks that good and, right away. Yeah, and then you like that's all you do. No, 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 no. You have to think of the idea. You have to make sure that your makeup's and your hair is all done. You could you get, get, get done the, the outfits, whole shoot and realize there was lighting. like a little bag in the back that makes your whole set look like crap. Yeah, and, and then you got to spend hours trying to edit that out, or, or you got to just start it. over. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think of that. And there, yep, the cat editing. runs through the fucking dogs yeah. in there or something. You forget yeah. about it. You just or, didn't. Or I've got my whole day lined up to punch out this like long video thing, and and the guy starts the lawnmower in the background, and I'm like, great. Tap on the screen. Is it black? If you can, ever, you're still good. Everything you're can. Okay. Good. You're doing a good job. <laughs> well, I figure we get like a little teaser. They can. <laughs> oh, I wrote it down already. Uh, so yeah, it's, so it's definitely a career to you guys. Like you guys, it's, it's, so what do you say if somebody comes up to you and says, this is fucking horse shit, what do you say? Do you, or do you just ignore them? I mean, imagine most point you would ignore them, but. Oh, I, I mean, I just ignore them. I just, or like. I guess I would try to explain a little bit and just make them maybe enlighten them a little bit about yeah, what we kind of deal with and like what that challenge is. with an irrational person. So no. that's right. If it's, if they're they not already to know their answer yeah. before they even come up to you. They already know if, what if they're they think. they're already saying something about it usually. Some, I mean, some, some people, people you, they, they're, they're like, like, oh, oh my wow. God, I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. But. Usually, if somebody's already insulting about it, if they're asking about it, usually yeah. then they're like, oh, or if they just are saying comments that like, oh, it's just this. Mm-hmm. If they're like insulting you about it, usually it's like. like just like it, anything it, yeah. else, really. You just hate to be insulted and it's you try to explain to people, I would imagine. what. I mean, if they come off, off with an insult, I'm like, I just like. I mean, I'll even, say my oh, bit yeah, at that and point, then why agree bother? to disagree. Yeah. 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 So Matt brought up, and you guys seem to, to to disagree. Well, he didn't say one way or the other, but as far as when you guys are 60, you you seem to think that, for the listener, I'm, I'm talking to, to Rodeo, that you, you're you going to enjoy that, looking back at wh- what you had back then or what you did back then. What Do you feel the same way, Lola? Yeah. I mean, like, when you feel good about yourself, like, like, Take the pictures now. Do whatever you want to do now Mm -hmm. because, you know, like this is the time to do it. You can't go back and be like, oh, I wish I took hot pictures. Whether it's for OnlyFans, whether it's for your personal life, whether anything, like do it now because Mm -hmm. instead of looking back and being later. Yeah, because, okay, so like, for example, like years ago, I did, I never liked the way that I looked, you know? And then, like, you know, things happen in life, 
And then I look back and be like, oh, I wish I looked like that. Well, I just got like my quote, mommy makeover and, you know, got a lot of work done. And at, now I'm like happy with the way that I look at the present time. Do you think a lot of this helps that? Do you think oh, a, yeah. like OnlyFans and, and doing the dance and helps? Oh, yeah, it does. With you know, in the last year that I've worked at Double Vision, she has seen my glow up like oh, five times my over. God. Like I, I was. So hot you when felt I the started. same way, or no? You felt like you didn't really look good and stuff before. Or? So I, I mean, I did because it was an improvement of how I looked before that. But I mean, it just keeps going up. Yeah, and I'm just like, sure. Damn, where's the ceiling? Yeah. Let's find it. All right. <laughs> yeah. So it is. So it's that's what people mean by empowering. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yep. And it makes you feel better about mm-hmm. do it. So fuck all right. So fuck everybody then. I mean, if basically, they think it's like a- being a stripper is sort of like being a mini pop star. It's like you have your local customers that like continuously come in and like you know patronize or patronage and stuff like that. And uh, it's it's like they're looking for you. They're they're kind of like following your Facebook and you know blah blah blah. So it's sort of like you get to be this little you know pop star. It's it's a lot of fun. Does it so? Does it feel like you guys can, for a couple hours a night when you go on the stage, you can just put all your bullshit behind you, stress, money, oh, all the oh, bullshit behind oh, you, absolutely, and just and play a part? Yeah, is that what it's about? So it's like a not not I shouldn't say is that what it's about because I'm sure there's more to it, but that's that's a part of it. Like when you go on there, you can kind of so like a lot of the times when I'm on stage. I dance for me. Mm-hmm. It's like an escape. Oh, okay, that's good to it's, know. That's it's good. an escape. It's like, like just so like it's from a, it's everything. ain't all about the money. No, it's it's no. Right. I mean, I love sure. It's, it's a great like perk. You, the music and the lights, and I, you're yeah. kind of just in the zone and just embracing yeah. the moment, and it's just coming from within because <clears> you really <throat> are passionate about what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I found a new kink of mine after working there. I, What's that? We want to know. Money. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's oh a kink god. of mine too. I actually, like it, I get turned on. The more money that falls on me, yeah, the, I get the it. hotter Noted. I get. So, rodeo. How can people <laughs> check you out? How can people check me out? Yeah. I am on Facebook. Okay. Um, I do have my OnlyFans, Goddess of Tees, All and right. then I'm also on Instagram, Instagram, uh, rodeo underscore galaxy. Okay. And that's the only Instagram. That's the only Instagram. Yeah. And you would come back and do a show of your own? Absolutely. Would you? Okay. Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to have Matt come back yeah, in and we're going to get, we'll definitely get Rodeo back here for a, her own, because we got to, to yeah. go see what her opinion is on stuff. Oh yeah. She's, she, she's the person. Y'all ain't ready. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> nobody's ready. Me. <laughs> yeah. No problem. We'll have you for a, for a real one here soon. Yeah. I like it. Um, We've got some some stuff here. Just real quick, uh, we're over an hour already. But and, and we are you doing okay? Yeah, you're all right with um, time. Like, are you got to be anywhere? Are you? Oh no, no, nope. I'm good. Can I um, put out my what? We- tell my website so Absolutely. that if anybody Absolutely. needs of to, course you can. You want to plug. Yep. In fact, I'll put it all in the uh, the caption and all the stuff okay. too afterwards. But I want you to say it too. So like for so I have um, I'm on Suicide Girls. So all the links. To everything is on my web, my actual website, my VIP OnlyFans, Suicide Girls, this comic book okay. that was written about Lola Montez. Um, all of that's on there. It's www.lolamontezvip, so L-O-L-A-M-O-N-T-E-Z-V-I-P.com. Nicole, you're writing this stuff down too? <laughs> So if you Google, I know what I know what you guys are gonna be watching tonight. <laughs> so I already know. If you Google it though, it comes up as "Did you mean Lola Montez Veep?" As in V E E P. I don't know. Oh, so you have to click sucks. no, and then I pop up. Okay. I don't know what what it is, but yeah. So that's everything is on there. So if you want to get if you want to see more of Lola, that's where you'll do it. Yes, and I have Montez merch on there. I have um, prints for sale. Which she brought one of them. I can't show you guys on YouTube because it's still shut the fucking video. It's a little off, risque. We'll put it, we're going to get a frame. We'll put it in here as like a, it's like autographed a souvenir. Too. Of the, she signed it. Yes. And then when Rodeo comes, she's going to bring a picture and she's going to mm-hmm. sign that too. We should have a whole wall. Yes. Oh, yeah. Before I get into the article that we got uh, for, for you, a lot of times you find girls in the porn industry. I know you're. that's not really what. Well, you kind of with OnlyFans, right? Yeah, I mean, there's it's sexual acts, right? So a lot of girls in porn say they started stripping. Do you guys ever see yourself? Well, do you ever see yourself doing that? Would you do that? Would you do I mean, full porn? Yeah, definitely. I think with, what's, with, what's, with what's, other people besides your 
person that you're with or whatever? Not with other people. Um, I so, mean, so, besides Rodeo. <laughs> but, but, so um, you wouldn't do it like, you wouldn't other, work at it. You'd just go in and then find out that day what guy you're with or no, girl. No, 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 no. I, if I do porn, though, that's the thing. If I do it, it is with my partner and only him. Besides rodeo, <laughs> I always have to put that in there because that's my girl. But um, would you do it with other girls besides rodeo? Possibly. So it, we've talked possibly. about this before. It's one know. thing like she wouldn't do it with another guy other no. than her partner, but other girls typically, she, or not typically, other girls she possibly would. Yeah, it's it's that's it's it's so much easier for girls to be with girls than it is for girls to be with random guys. Y- yeah, that I mean. Cheer that, Nicole. That's, me too. It's a lot easier for me to be with random girls than it is random it's guys. It's easier as well, so to be with random girls, and Nicole, than it is other guys. <laughs> well, I'm just I mean, saying, Nicole. I'm a hundred percent bisexual, so I love I love women. Mm-hmm. Um, me too. That's perfect. Thing, I'm, I'm actually a lesbian stuck in the guy's body. Been telling people that for years. <laughs> but like <laughs> the the guy that I'm with, that's 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 my guy. I I I couldn't with somebody else. So it's like you know. Do you hide him for business purposes? Um, I've been at bars no. before flirting with waitresses, and they've been flirting with me before. And as soon as I found out they had a boyfriend or husband, I'm like, oh, that's that. Do you find that happens with you if you let people know that? Um, No, I don't hide him. Um, I, 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 I shouldn't mean, say that sounds cruel, I, cruel I, I to say of, it that no, way. I guess yeah, I mean no. it like. No, I don't. Does it help? Does it behoove you to not bring him up? I don't, I don't just like, cause I don't bring up my personal life, you know? Oh, in general. In right. general. Okay. You gotcha. So, but if somebody goes, do you have a boyfriend? Well, technically no, I don't have a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. So, um, or if they, if they're like trying to be flirt, if they want the fantasy, then like, they'll be like, oh, do you have a boyfriend? I'm like, oh, ha, ha, which one? Uh, you know, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a, that's a kink like, too. You know, yeah. guys I mean, want girls. I like, have somebody. I sit there, I joke around like, oh, well, I mean, maybe if you tip a little more, then maybe I could put you on the list too, you know, or I mean, oh, but in, in reality, you Cha-ching. know, <laughs> like that's when it's the fantasy in reality. If people are trying to be serious, I'm like, no, 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 like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably do get people that fall in love. I mean, they they want oh, a relationship. I'm sure that happens. Oh, I'm sure it happens to both of you. Oh my, oh my God. Now, yeah. do you and guys separate work and home? Though, well, of course. Oh yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I so like so like what you do at work is totally different than what you do at home with your. Oh wait, do I, I think I know what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, like they're not going to strip for their boyfriend every night well, no, because they're, well, they're strippers. Well, Is that what you're? Might, but I'm just saying. But I mean, do you like, like when you're at work, that's your one life, and then when you come home, oh is yeah, it something it's, totally it's, different. It's separate. Like, like I'm very transparent with my man, so it's like that I, brings up a great question too. It's like I I can talk to him about stuff. What does like he feel work? about this? Does he ever give you shit about this? What you I do? I mean, no, we met. There, like when I first started, so so he knew what he, he was getting into. Well, he like he knows what time it is. Everybody knows, and when in reality, everybody knows what time it is. Mm-hmm. Like, like there's, I don't know if I could do it. No, could you do? I don't know. I, I mean, that's a problem. I'm just too insecure to. I don't know if I. I would just be too secure. worried about he's you. He's very. He's he, like like he's he. We, I call him. He calls me all the time, like like on, on my breaks and stuff. Mm-hmm. When I'm leaving, you know, I call him. You know, when I get there, and he's like, he's really secure about like how things are. If he was a stripper, could you deal with it? Oh, I I listen. I've told him like, if you want to find it, if you can ever find a sugar mama and it's going to bring money in. Do whatever that you want to do. You? Really? No. It's a job. Good for you. Yeah. I guess it's so. Work. Just for if what, want, what about you? Do you feel that way or no? Oh, I feel that way. 100%. Yeah. He could do whatever. It doesn't as long as he came home to you. It's a job. Yeah. It's a job. Oh yeah. If he if he ever wanted to strip, if he will, you know, do whatever, be my Don't guest. Come home dirty. Yeah. That's oh yeah, that's an issue. Dirty. Yeah, that would be. A, I guess but you just. Like, you I don't know, want it. if he found it on the streets, I don't want it. I guess there's a trust beyond just sleeping with somebody else. There's also a trust that he's he or she is not going to bring something home, something wrong. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's something that I mean, like, you just, you know, like, 
I mean, stripping, you're not, you're not gonna, you know, it's like there's, clo- you know, it's yes. clothes right. and like everything. You're not having sex with people. You're not, you know. So I guess I, well, I, no, I that's I, true. I, I'm thinking I of a, I, I'm thinking of porn. Like if you, yeah, I got a I question guess. though, yeah. and if this is going a little bit overboard, just let me know. And I, you know, I, I totally understand. But you guys talking about like your OnlyFans stuff, like did eventually, you come? Did you come? Did you come? Eventually, you guys want to possibly do OnlyFans with you two. Now, you guys both have a person with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, they both have a person on e- with them on either side. So if you guys do that, would you ever let your person or whatever participate? Finger blasting is fun with uh-huh. friends. But if my friends aren't around, I can't fuck. I don't know what the I'll fuck she said because you're playing stupid okay. shit right now. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> but would you let your person? I would per- let them watch. I would let them film. I I would you know. Pop- but you wouldn't. But you wouldn't let them partake I, in anything. I, I wouldn't necessarily let them partake in anything because when it comes to OnlyFans, there's like stipulations. Like they need to have an OnlyFans. They need to be verified through OnlyFans for me to showcase them. Mm-hmm. Me and her, we have to draw up contracts. Like mm-hmm. I trust her with all of my heart, but still, I, for oh yeah, legal purposes. We're drawing yeah. up contracts on this stuff. All of that takes time and thought and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's. I felt bad having her sign that thing. Well, she didn't yet, but I have, I brought it up to her, and I felt bad. I was like, "This is fucking weird. I've never had to do that before." But it sounds like you guys understand. But, but it's yeah, legal for legal purposes. Well, it protects like for, them. It protects so, us. Yeah. It protects everybody. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the last thing we want to do is get jammed up about something because. Well, last thing I want to do is is to have somebody that I make content with decide, you know, a couple years down the line that they want that it eradicated from. Existence. Oh yeah, exactly. Exactly. and this is content and, and too. It's me. different, yes. but it's, it's yeah, also different. content. I don't want a DMCA. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But like, like for <clears throat> Suicide Girls, we have to write, do a contract with a photographer, with me, with like, and like say that, and Suicide Girls saying that, you know, we can't take what we publish on there and like use it oh, yes. for other yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're using yeah it for what we it's specify specifically for Suicide mm-hmm. Girls. Matt, you're going to be on your own here in a minute. Why? Uh, for the same reason I was on my oh. own. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to come in or no? <laughs> yeah, come back in. We'll chat. We'll chat a little bit. All right, Rodeo's back with us now. She's That's in the right. big boy seat. Mm-hmm. How's it going? Yeah. You know, how's that feel? I, I never get to sit in it's that seat. It's warm. Huh? It's warm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I was out where Wes was talking with you, but... How long have you been in the business for? Um, or was that covered already? So I've been working at Double Vision for about a year. Mm-hmm. Um, and with OnlyFans and going back to Patreon, I've been in that for actually six years. All right. So you weren't doing the whole dancing stuff prior to that? I always wanted to, but no. No. I was not. I got and a late start. Just one day you just decided that's, just, that's what I wanted to I do? Fin- or? I was finally like, you know what? I've wanted to do it long enough. Nobody's going to hold me back. So yeah, I'm going to go. I was going to go for amateur night. Oh. And I showed up, and they were like, "Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore." <laughs> <laughs> well, I can kind of see that. I and mean, I was like, the, oh, the way your yeah. personality is, you're on a whole other level. Well, because I also I had some friends that had pole etiquette and stuff, and mm-hmm. so I learned a few tricks. And I was like, "Well, shit, I'm just gonna roll in and like sweep away that prize." You know what I'm saying? And then if I end up with a job, cool. Uh, but they were like, "Yeah, no more amateur night." And I was like, "All right, can I just audition?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, yeah, we, now they, is there auditions? Like, oh yeah, people. You just oh, yeah. can't people walk in, in and be like, "I want to be a stripper," and that's no, that. No, you, you can. Oh, you can. You can go in and. And, you know, if the right people are there or you can schedule a time to audition Mm -hmm. Um, and it it all depends. They'll have you come back a certain day. Sometimes they'll let you try it out and, Mm -hmm. you know, work a few hours or something. But like amateur night, they brought it back for a little bit. Yeah, they did. They they did. Like in March or something. Yeah. But it was, they, it hasn't actually been a big thing since like right after I started, mm-hmm. I think there was just a few weeks of it. I want to say, but I don't, I don't know exactly. Now you've only worked for Double Vision. Only you haven't Vision. done gone anywhere else no, or anything like I, that. I like where I am. I'm happy. They respect me. I'm respected there. Now is there they like take care now is there like uh, you guys work at Double Vision? But is there like the NFL of stripping? Like is there like a bigger platform? 
like Vegas or something like that or I mean, or whatnot or is it just kind of like it is what it is? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm just I wondering. Mean, I think there are like there's like bigger clubs in like bigger bigger cities and stuff, but mm-hmm. it, it all depends. I mean, it all depends on the person. It all depends on like the club. It all depends on the customer. Like everything's different. There's like. Like, I'm in a group where it's a lot of strippers and stuff, and there's girls that go to big clubs, and they make nothing in that day, like a Saturday night or something, and no. it'll be a Saturday during the day, and I just made $1,000. What's a big club? Like like New York City or like, like Vegas. C- like Vegas. Like Miami or something. Like what? Like Miami or yeah, something. Yeah, something like, like mm-hmm. that. So, like, mm-hmm. it all depends. Where they've got, like, you know, like, seven stages. There's girls yeah. on all the stages. There's mm-hmm. people in cages up on the ceiling and yeah. stuff. Like, those, I would say that's a big club. All yeah. Right. But, like, so it, it it all depends. Like, and it depends on the girl, on, like, your hustle. And the thing is, though, there's so many like variables that come into it. There's the customer. Every customer is different. Every girl is different. Every hustle is different. Every interaction with every customer is different. That customer is going to have a different interaction with one girl than another girl mm-hmm. than another girl. That girl is going to have a different interaction with w- one customer or another customer. And then everybody has good days and bad days. So those interactions are all going to be different. So you like it, you never you never know how it's going to be. That's and, what makes it so fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, because people are like, oh, I, I like to gamble. Do you like to gamble? I'm like, yeah, I like to gamble and, you know, gamble how much money I'm going to make, you know, instead <laughs> of how much money I'm going to lose. Now, do you guys help each other out? Like, say, like, you guys are working on the same day or same night and you got a customer and you're like, ah, maybe, so, maybe you're not it, but I got a friend over there that oh, might be more your type oh, yeah. or your style. Or whatever. So, do you guys do that yeah, or whatnot? Absolutely. Yeah. Or or we're like, hey, you know, it would be really fun if you got me and her together in the room. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, so like I have a I have a rule for me, and I always tell the girl all the girls the same rule is you can be friends, you can be friendly, you can, but do not hurt your own bag to help somebody else out. Period. Because you have to worry about yourself. You can't pour from an, from an empty cup. Mm-hmm. You have to take care of yourself before you even help somebody else out. You know what I mean? So, like, like, of course, if some if I'm already making money with somebody and he's having a great time, like, oh, well, you know, it would be really fun to have Rodeo come join us. Mm-hmm. You know? If he's like, oh, yeah. If he's like, no, I really like you. Okay. Or if somebody's not feeling me. Then there and there he's like I'm he's like well I want um this kind of oh, okay well there here let me get this this girl for you but, I mean because you know it, it, he's not like he's gonna be spending any money on me you know mm-hmm. I could like, be a sourpuss and like walk away or it could help a girl out and then maybe she'll do the same thing but you can't you know guarantee it is so it like a big no no like if you're with a customer and another girl comes up and tries to like barge her way in. Like, is there like, oh, you don't, if you're sitting with a customer, no, is there like rules that yes. like you guys have in the industry that you guys don't cross? Yes, they, and then if they do, like, do those girls get like get shunned or get pushed out or whatever? I mean, like, does that happen? Do are like some girls so greedy and so like cutthroat to like they see you're having a, a thing with a customer? Mm-hmm. And, but they'll come in and try to take over because they want the money or whatever. Girls, like, like, does that, that happen? Yeah, that definitely. Yeah, that occurs. does happen. So, like, but you still have to remain professional. Yeah, about you would it. definitely have to handle it with like couth and poise. Yeah, because like, mm-hmm. you, know, you, you can't you can't have like a blowout situation at the bar. Mm-hmm. That's not going to look good for anybody. No, bag. no. But like later on that night, do you guys go later in the back night, room and be yeah, like, "I'm going to smack you, the shit no. out of you because oh. that was like uncalled for." Like, what the fuck were you <laughs> thinking about doing it? <laughs> I mean, we might. If it comes to that, I mean, I mean, we'll definitely say something. Thing. And now, does like the the, I, the I owner don't. or like the manager of the bar or whatever like does he like step in with shit like that too, or does he like let you guys kind of like fend for I yourselves? Yeah, it's I, not I mean, necessary. We're it's pretty not, good at yeah, we're adults, beef. so we should be able to handle yeah, it. I mean, there's need. certain things that like like I've had like if if like people are too touchy mm-hmm. or go too far or something like the like the people in charge. Like, yeah, definitely. You, yeah, you yeah. talk to them about it, and then they definitely have your back. You know, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so. if you're continuously having problems with coworkers, obviously, like blah yeah. blah blah. But you know, in most cases, it's squashable between us. Yeah, all right, cool. And, and cool. you know, we're all grown, so we can all yeah. speak to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, handle. Well, it. I think because I know it's probably a little cliche or a little stupid or whatnot, but I kind of like I watched Showgirls before, and I kind of go on like what happened in that movie. I'm just kind of curious, like that's the same kind of shit that happens with you guys. Like, kind of like like the new girl comes in and she's a cuter, hotter. Or younger or whatever, does like everyone like get jealous of, I've, of I've that person? Seen, I've definitely seen a new girl pipe <laughs> in on a conversation she was not a part of, and the, the other girl be like, "And what's your name? How long have <laughs> oh you been here?" Yes, <laughs> yes, I, and, I, and I and I was like, I love both of them, but Ooh. oh my god, I love that. It, that was that was that was a good moment. But you know what? Okay, so what I liked about that situation is the vet was not being rude not at all not at all she was stay she was informing she her she was reminding the yes. other girl of her place yes because you're new and the vet is having a conversation with another vet and somebody just chimes in and she's like wait what's your name who are you <laughs> yeah are you relevant <laughs> like and she goes just to, and she's like does this conversation have to do with you and she was like no she's like okay so then don't interject and the thing she is even said like one day maybe but i don't yes. actually know you so yeah so and then and then the new girl she said oh i'm i'm sorry you know you are right like and that's the thing like it came up it was a moment it yep. got squashed and then no everything was fine. It, everything was respectful yep so it's like the thing in the industry that, that i found is you like in a lot of people especially a lot of new girls say that I look scary or they were intimidated by me or they were oh, scared of me. Yeah. I love that though because of the fact that people don't mess with me. But let me ask you this and question though. With, along with that though, do you guys go out of your way to help the new girls or do you kind of like let them learn on their own? Um, To an extent. So I am not... So we don't I want am, anybody to walk into a bad situation. Yes. So if, if we can some, give them a heads up on something, yeah. we definitely do that. But I'm not going to tell everybody all the secrets. Oh yeah, that's no. what I'm going to say. Do you like do yeah, you help no. them? Like you see a if, new if girl you, out if, there. If you earn my trust as like the new girl, mm-hmm. and we form some sort of like coworker bond together. Mm-hmm. Like I might let you in on a secret or two of mine. All but right. I'm not just going to. But other than that, you free. won't do that. So if the new girl comes in, you're not going to be like, hey, we'll do this next time you're with a guy. Um, you, you I'll be like, point your toes, honey. Yeah, pointing toes. It's pointing place. toes. What was pointing toes? When you're on stage, you don't want to see this. Yeah, you want to see that. Oh, yeah, yeah true, true. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, never, I never even thought about that until you. <laughs> and yeah, as, no, it's, as it's a it's stripper. Huge. It's like it's a big eyes. Oh yeah. yeah, and I can't oh, yeah. unsee it. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> actually, there was a, there was a new girl um one time, and she was like, she just walked right up to me, and said, "Do you have any pointers for me? Because I'm just starting, and I want to know all the things." And I was like, "You got a 20? <laughs> No, um, I mean, the, the, it, 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 right, because you're it's teaching. Not free. Yeah, it's you not are free. teaching. There are paid mentorships yes. online yes. for this reason but, because it's a, it's a hard uh, uh, hustle to learn. Yes. It's not for everybody, and I'm not just going to give you this secret sheet. Yeah, so, but, so she was like, do you have all the, sec- like, do you have secrets? I want to know how to do this and everything. I, I was bet. like, I was like, I don't know, point your toes. And she's like, <laughs> Wow. Okay. And I'm like, no, but that's a serious thing. Like you don't like you don't know like how big of a deal it is. Mm-hmm. It's like it's something so you what people so think it's small. Yeah. yeah. It's so simple, but and it makes that's such a huge, a huge difference. Tip. That's mm-hmm. a huge tip to make everything like look on point. So I said, I don't know, point your toes. And she's like, Wow, I thought I was being a bitch. I'm like, No, I'm not. I'm actually wow. not. Well. Wow. Interesting. You're getting some freaking uh, behind the scenes backdoor type shit with this conversation here was. <laughs> So, well, no, that's cool. You hear that, Nicole? Point your toes next time. I don't want. I don't want to see your flat foot next time. I want you to see point toes. I want to make sure you do that tonight too. Point your toes. Point your toes. If you see a flat <laughs> foot, smack her. Right in the flat foot. <laughs> Did you hear what point, point your, toes your toes means? No, I don't know. It's like the arch your back thing when it's done. Yeah. Oh yeah, and arch your back is a big thing. Oh arch my god. It. Yeah. Pop them hips out. Yes. Pop. Yeah, because that's that's how you get the the Lola Montez. Yep, the Lola Montez twerk mm-hmm. that I'm yeah. known for. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. You haven't seen this booty in action. So, I mean, the very, so you've been doing it yeah, for a year. So you were the new girl. I was. And then I was the new girl it. that came in with like veteran yeah. tricks and. And she's the vet hustle. though. So like, what? Oh drew, my god. So oh my like, god. what Our drew you to her though? Okay. Wait, okay. So, so I have good. to. I have to say this. Our first interaction. Okay. So in the dressing room, I have had the same spot for almost seven years. The same spot. So she gets there. I always get there a little bit late, you know, just that's just my schedule. I get everywhere early because yeah. I got hella anxiety. And <laughs> so her stuff is on my spot. And I I just walk in with my with my bags. I'm like, who who shit is this? Who the fuck is on my spot? And she goes, That's my stuff. I'm like, this is my spot. And I throw, <laughs> I like, I literally take it and just toss it violently. And she goes, but I was here first, bitch. No, <laughs> bitch. No, you might have been there first that day. Mm-hmm. No, you're. I learned. <laughs> oh I yeah, learned. she no, learned. Was like, okay. She was like, she was like, but, but, but. And then, I had and remember I had a spot on. on like the floor underneath the table in the back, and now I got the big table with oh, the yeah, box yeah. and the thing. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. now that's your spot. I got space. You earn that. Mm-hmm. You earn that. Yes, <laughs> my spot. I literally have like. I have seen her point. launch people's shit. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> No, that's yeah. When I'm in a the bad mood, move, I love yes. It. Oh my god, there's a girl there. She purposefully, when I come up, she lays across my spot just so I'll hang oh, over you see, the I kind of like that. Though, that's how her. I she am. Is begging me to throw her. She's like, I love it. <laughs> Once I know something bugs you, it's oh, on. No, 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 no. She wants me to throw her. Grab because her by she, the throat. She Who wants me to grab her by this? the throat. Yoink. Yes. She's like, that is what she's into. Oh, Oh, shit. she wants me to dominate her. That's what it is. So is like everybody there on the freaky side? Oh, my God, yes. Or is it? Or is there people there that are just I don't straight up Christian that go strip for money? There's actually, I think everybody's freaky. I think everybody's freaky. And if they're not, they're going to be, because then they're going to finally feel comfortable about getting that out. Now, were you guys always like that growing up, though? Like, say, like, you were in your teenage years. Did you kind of always think you might have a little bit of a crazier side to you? And then as you got, and then you became an adult, like, this is what I'm doing, because I'm a crazy person, or no? When I was in high school, I was like, I'm going to go to Vegas and become a stripper. And then I never did. I think I was nine. Yeah. I was nine and I saw the strippers on TV oh, or yeah. something, some movie, and I was like, I want to do that. And then Coyote came out, Coyote Ugly came out, yeah. hammered in the nail. And then for I, me. I didn't start until like a little later. Like I, it wasn't right when I was eighteen that I started with it. A lot of girls do. I had so. the the boyfriend and the social stigma issue for a few years before I finally busted out and was like, I'm doing what I want. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. You want to come back, Wes, or? I can. Yeah, if you're Are you good or? I don't know. Well. Nicole can run it. Hold it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, let's do a let's Would You Rather. Uh, I think, we, think we should wrap up a Would You yeah. Rather, because how long are we getting to now? Uh, uh, an hour and a half. Yeah, we're getting Yeah, there. so we do a Would You Rather. That'll get us to the last half hour. and We'll have to bring some of these. I'll save these yeah. for when Rodeo comes back or if Lola comes back or whatever. I'll save them. We'll be back. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope so. I hope, really hope you guys had a good time today, because I was really nervous and had anxiety and shit like that. Yeah, you guys were going to come in and be like, these guys are weird and shit like that. Somebody I really usually is like crippled by anxiety. I was fine. Yeah. I was like pumped. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Would you rather? 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 Would you Would you rather, Lola, spend a hundred dollars on a sex toy, or five dollars on, on a what? Dollars on a great sex toy, or five dollars on a shitty one? A hundred dollars on a great sex toy. Do you have any recommendations for the lady listeners? 
Is there any certain oh, ones that stand know. out? I don't know. I just girls I mean, love that one that sucks their I've clip. I've heard about that. I haven't yeah. gotten that. But I mean, I mean the most. The, the, I, I the hear big, out the in the audience. I heard that. The best, I, like <laughs> the true feels. Like the truth. Yeah, that's it what you. Feels have. like a real dick. It is so great. What it is it? Looks it's, like you're it's, sucking it's a real it's dick. It's called the true feel. It's by Adam and Eve. Is it a fucking dildo? It's a dildo. Does it look like a dick? It, feels, it looks and it looks feels like, like a dick, real dick. It yeah. Like is it big and fat? It can be. I see the cost. I want you to get. I want mine. Nicole to get a big fat one. She thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I just got my big fatty. Did you you see oh, Nicole? I'm not crazy. Oh. oh my god, is it as big as mine? It might be. You got a big fat one too. Oh my god, I got like a ten inch. See, like, oh, fucking. see Nicole. I'm like, I'm, Does size I, matter? I, I'm. Does size matter in a human in a in a person? A lot of people say no, but I I I, I think so. Well, I yeah, I'm, I'm fucked because like, I'm, I'm Irish. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Here's my logic. My G spot's only about three inches in, so as long as you can hit that and hit it. Exactly. Day, I, I, fi- really I, I got mean, some good I, news. My ovaries are over here. I got some good news. I finally just found the G spot after 15 years. Oh my god! It took me 14 and a half years to find it, but I, I found say, it. I would, I would Heck, it, it took say. Nicole 14 and a half years for you to and find now, it. And now, and what's my go-to thing? I said, "Fuck! I'm just going right there. Let, let her get off, and then whatever happens after, I don't give a shit no more." <laughs> Call of Duty, laying down. He was hitting it from behind. He tilted that shit. Oh wait, back. can you can you do this in the mic though? <laughs> I want the listener to hear that story. <laughs> All right. So the first time that I ever had my G spot hit, I was on my stomach playing Call of Duty and he was hitting it from behind. He tilted my shit up so perfectly and I just put my head into the controller. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it was. <laughs> I was like, could you do that thing again? <laughs> it's in and up, right? It's in and up. Yeah, it's on the top. It's not on the bottom. Doggy. It's like it's kind of like tilted and sort of. So it's down. like it's like if when you go in and you do come here, yes. it's like that yeah. squishy uh, thing. It's ribbed. Yeah. yeah, it feels like a sponge. You feel kinda. ribs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, like a yes. sponge. <laughs> I said, if one day I found it, I'm like, oh, now I know what that is. <laughs> That's the spot. That's, That's the spot that makes your fucking go. That's the spot that'll make her squirt. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Which brings me to my next question. Lola, squirt or no squirt? You. Oh, if um, She's a squirter. If it, uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, is squirt pee oh, yeah. or is it not? It's, it's not, not. It's are not. Are you sure? Because we've heard like okay. different stories oh, on yeah. this now. I was a big firm believer that it was pee. Yeah, no, uh-huh. it's 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 not. I, I, I have it's not. Since. I have only had one person be able to with me, and oh my god, yeah, now I am. Now, do you squirt with penetration? Well, not penetration. Do you squirt with a dick or without a dick? I haven't managed to squirt, make I mean, her squirt with a dick. dick. No, I, I, I gotta I, use either, fingers. Oh, oh no, dick, either a dick or a dildo. Squirt, but like the dildo still has to be like with a dick. Like I have to be sucking the dick and then like <laughs> at the same time. Like, I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> she knows. I think we all. I think a lot of us are. Uh, they just don't admit uh, to it. I'm a freak. I, I try to be a freak. Yeah. I mean, but I keep getting smacked down all the time. I, she squirts, right? No, I We've try, talked no, about it on the show plenty no, of times. No, with you. I'm not doing it with you. <laughs> I want those little trinkets and little tidbits. <laughs> I'll try some shit, but I ain't trying it with you. <laughs> well, he just he said he was looking for penetration, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, I'm I little. Know, I'm, I I'm Irish. I'm also it. Irish. <laughs> I didn't know if he wanted it or wanted to give it. That, that I had to I'll ask try anything that. once. I is told it, you. Is it gay? Twice, just to make sure. Yeah, there you go. Is it gay to take it or receive it? If a guy receives it, is it gay or if, if he? In other words, I think I, I, think, I think, think if you're giving it, you're if not. If you're receiving I, it, no, you are. No, but it's it's a guy. Wait, if it's a guy on guy, it's it's gay. gay. Just like if, if it's a anal play on a guy, not gay, if, especially if administered by a woman or by self. Uh, well, that was my thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Well, no, no, it's not gay. A woman or my I don't touch. <laughs> oh, I'm I, I don't know. Do you I, guys I like do my, that? Do you, I, I don't touch booty holes. You know, I like my I touch. Do you like your touch? Those. It drives you crazy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I don't want to touch it. I don't. It's I don't. like a fucking nine volt battery. It's not not even weird. with your finger. It's it's like a nine volt no. battery to butthole. I mean, it's you know you shouldn't, but you're gonna at least once. <laughs> I mean, I, I, if if I try it once, it would be with you twice, once or twice. And it, it tastes like you. dirty pennies. It's like, <laughs> would you lick? Would you lick Rodeo's ass? You would. I bet you would. Rodeos. Yeah, I mean, she's a goddess. She is. A if you guys goddess. are gonna do, if you go, no, would you get? Would you return a favor? 
Oh my god. Oh, she's oh like, my she's god, like fuck yeah, I want to do it right now. The, fir- now. the first time <laughs> she ever like insinuated you you want me to say this? Yes. Okay, so she was, <laughs> hey, wait, this is getting good now. She was talking about something about I was talking about throwing ass so hard that you get pink eye. No, <laughs> no you said if that's how you're going to get pink if that's, that's how, how you're going to get pink. Yeah. It's from fecal matter. So, yes. So she said Goes, and I'm like, oh, yeah? And then we go up in the dressing room. She's like, this is the first time she ever, like, initiated anything sexual. She's like, if 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 you ever want to give me pink eye, you know, I mean, I'd be down. <laughs> so did, I'm did, like, you, did you do the eyes? Because I feel like the eyes would Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no. She was like, uh, like. Well, I guess. All cutie about yeah. it and Oh, stuff. yeah. She yeah, was yeah. shy. Yeah. She was so shy at first. I'm just letting you guys know and Nicole know when these guys do the whole pink eye swapping thing, we're going to prescribe to that OnlyFans and watch that one because. Yeah. pink eye in both eyes the first time I ever ate it. Really? Oh, that's that's how it got brought oh, up. Oh, this really happened. Yes, yes, that's how it got brought up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter, guy or girl? So if it was a guy, there was a lot more stipulations that happened. Yeah, guys are fucking disgusting. It's like, listen, you got to dehair that. Although know, some girls are, too. Yeah. Like, you know, I don't want no... Yeah. Yeah, shit. yeah I, nice I wouldn't touch a guy's ass. ass. Me neither. I would <laughs> never ask. Like, I won't no. let my wife touch my ass. No, no. You wouldn't let her lick your ass if she wanted to. No. If she, if did you was know her? the guy's G spot is in the ass? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the, you I did not know thing, that. Right? Yes, but you can get to it without going in the ass. No. So the little gummy grundle or the taint? I've always the called taint. it gummy grundle. Gummy grundle? What That's the fuck the is going on? <laughs> that was the, f- the word that I first learned. I, That's Gu- the new word for it. Yes, I will gummy grundle. Gummy grundle. forever never call it the so, taint. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> as I read in a Cosmopolitan magazine, like oh they know ever, their shit. Oh too. yeah, they do. So, but, um, so you push up on the taint right when like the guy is gonna come. So you like push up on the taint right behind the balls, not on the ass or in the ass. Taint quite ass, taint quite balls. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then it's supposed to be like the biggest <laughs> orgasm. <laughs> These guys are losing their fucking minds right now. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this in editing. I realized what the fuck she was doing, too. And then when I realized what she just said, it was like, holy fuck. <sighs> We're <laughs> fucking losing oh. control. Uh, well, we did one. <laughs> anyway, we did one. Uh, would you rather... Uh, this is going to be tough with people that actually do sex tapes. Um, let's see what we got. Hold on. It's my turn to read one. Go ahead. Got one? Yeah, I did. I don't know where the fuck it is now. If you were going to have a one night stand, would you rather do it at his, at, at the other person's parents' house or your parents' house? His parents. Hypothetically speaking. I would, oh, there it is. I found it. You'd rather do it at his? His. Yeah. I've always said the same. This way I can get out in the morning. If they come at to your house, house, then you have to get them out. You're going to go to his house? <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is my button? <laughs> yeah, I just, I always thought it would be easy. Like you said, just go to their place. That way I could just leave when I'm ready. Six, six o'clock, nine o'clock, whatever. Depends on if I'm in love or not. I mean, my, my man, I, yeah, I mean, I met his parents. I thought well, I, I guess that's a little. Stand, and then who, I, I never left. <laughs> never that. left. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you'd rather be at his house or I have mean, him no, at your? It, oh, no, you guys have your own house now, though, right? Was, yeah. Okay. But I mean, like at the beginning, it was like we're Shit. both like you come to in the middle. Mom be like, leave the door open. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, no. Where I can see him. Are your parents <laughs> supportive of all this stuff too, or, or do they? Good question. Know? My, Good question. My mom is very supportive. She, um, I. First told her, she guessed before I told her, like... Oh, she kind of knew. She knew, like, because all of a sudden, like, I had money, like, before I was working three jobs, and then suddenly I had time, and I was like, Mom, we're going to go get our nails done. She's like, how do you have, like, all this money, like, extra money just that you're throwing throwing away? I'm like, um, and she's like, you're a stripper, aren't you? I was like, yeah. She's like... Do you think she was joking, or do you think she really knew? No, she knew. Yeah. Oh, and she was like, okay, good for you. And then... 
my um, dad and stepmom found out. By, it's always the dad with the yeah. problem. Uh, I, I don't know. I they don't have a problem at all. They're oh, like, they're like, by the way you whatever. said that, I guess but I was no, assuming. It was funny the way that they found out. I get a notification on my... Um, Your dad didn't walk into a show before, has he? No. Oh, that was no. good. Um... On my stripper Instagram, I get a notification oh. that your dad and then your stepmom followed you. And I'm like, oh, okay. well, that's supportive. Actually, I do got I it. mean, the, I, I mean, and then I don't even know if they stopped following me, but who knows? <laughs> you, you try not to think about look, that when you post it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I don't give a shit anyways. Uh -huh. you know? I do got a question on that, though. Have you ever been doing your dance and someone's come in? Come in. Come, come in. Come in. Came in <laughs> that knew you <laughs> that you weren't expecting to come in or anything like that. Um, like friends from school, or like from, that actually or, happened. or like, you're not from around, but like that I happened get what to you me mean. once. I went to a strip club and I was sitting there. Oh no, people from like because I like moved around here in like high school, so like oh okay. Yeah. So um, I've had people that I knew come in and I just say, hey, what's up? Like, and then. They want to dance. It's like not weird. It's not like any. It's not weird. And trust like me that. when I tell you, it's it's hot because they're oh, yeah. like because well, those no, from my weird. school all, all with OnlyFans. Even if I wasn't attracted to them, I still yeah, want to see their fucking OnlyFans. Or if they were a stripper or whatever, all of those I would want to see it. Tried to sleep with me pretty much like in high school. They wanted oh. to. Oh, they like they they they'd hit on me or something like that. And a lot of those guys. That's like, a nice feeling to know, isn't it? So now they're then, here watching then you. They come in and they're like, here here's. Jesus, here's all, here's money. Like I want to yep. dance. I'm like, okay. Like, let's, I got an awkward story about that. One of the few times I did go to the strip club, I was sitting there. I guess at the the, the tip rail when they're on stage, and me and the guys from work, we went there to for lunch because they had good chicken tenders. So we're sitting there eating. <laughs> yeah, and Playboy's there, got good articles. <laughs> we're sitting there eating eating lunch, and then the next dancer comes out, and I'm sitting there eating. eating and I look up, and I go like that. Now, this was a girl in high school that was like, goody, goody, I'm too good for you. You can never talk to me. I'm going to be, I'm going to marry this guy and do this. And now here she is fucking swatting her fucking pussy in front of my fucking face. And But she's probably making hey, like, What's wrong with that? Well, there's nothing Bang. wrong with it. it was, no, there's nothing wrong with it. But it was the fact that all through high school, she was that girl you couldn't talk to because she was too good for you. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, she so was like she a was, pretty, she was like the. She wasn't a nice person. No, she was no. a very yeah. mean and person, and she was like, she was I'm too judgy, and then yes. she's in a... And she was the one that judged you because... Because of something, and now she's yeah. in an industry where people judge that industry. Yes, I, and I then it that. was okay. like, you went from, I'm going to be a, I'm going to marry a rich guy, and I'm going to grow up this and that, and now you're now swinging your yeah, pussy but, in front of my face for my fucking money right well, now. Yeah, but maybe she met a rich guy. Well, she, but who's the, who's the real winner? I don't know. You gave her money. Well, I still did, <laughs> but it was funny though. It was it was just one of those it was one of those weird awkward moments at first when she first no, walked I get out. It. That would be awkward for and me to go in. She wasn't and see ready for me to be sitting there. So when she came out, it took her a second to realize who I was. Then she went like, and her face dropped like, uh, and I went just a smile and pointed at her and it started going like this. I said, "Here you go." <laughs> but four years ago, you wouldn't fucking talk to me because I wasn't good enough for you. Mm -hmm. All right, move on. <laughs> <laughs> I let that go. I didn't say nothing on purpose just to see what would happen. All right, well, let me do the next would you rather. Okay, we'll do one more, and then we'll go. I, I want to get some tips from these guys uh, for people that are interested in going to, like, what to do when you go to. So we'll do one more, and then we'll wrap right, up. Now, this is a big thing for me. Would you rather be made breakfast or have someone pay your lift after a one-night stand? Oh, made breakfast. I oh, get breakfast. Oh, I get breakfast made for me. I, I'm. This is it. I would rather too. If I had a one night stand, I'd have someone make no, no, me no, breakfast too. No, 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 no. I'm too. not talking about one night stands. I like. So I don't. Well, that was the question. Well, that's though. the question. So I would rather have breakfast made because okay. you know I don't like. I don't. I mean, in reality, I don't need one night stands. Well, I no. I know I'd rather don't. him pay for the lift because I'll have my girlfriend or wife make breakfast when I get home. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, French toast, Just cinnamon <laughs> French toast with the sugar sprinkled, Forgot. powdered sugar. What's that fucking oh my TikTok? God. The I, chicken tenders with mm. the fucking something or whatever, that little kid or whatever. The macaroni Jeroni. chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> Some fucking thing. So what, 
we're we're an hour and 45 minutes in. We're going to wrap this up here in the next 10 or 15 minutes. But uh, we'll definitely have these guys back if they want to come back. Uh, Rodeo, I hope so. I would, I'd like to do one with, with you in that spot. And I mean, you're always welcome, but uh, and get your your look on things. But what's some stuff, if we were to leave here right now and go to a club, what's some tips you would give the listeners when they walk in? What's the strip club etiquette? Okay. Sure. Um, if, <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, come with if, money. Bring if, money. If you do not <clears throat> want to dance with a certain girl that comes up or any girl at all, let the girl know ahead of time. Okay, so don't feel like you're being rude. Just tell no, her straight up. Just say in a, don't politely. Don't patronize a free conversation. Yes. Okay. No, nothing is free. To t- if you if you want a conversation, you can tip for a conversation just like you would with a dance. Wow. So, so you, you guys go that deep. Like, if you well, want to yeah, talk to me, you got to tip but, me. But the thing is, is I am at work. I'm at so work. I never, well, see, I've never, this if, is good to know because I never. No, if you if you want to get a dance with me, mm-hmm. then we'll sit and have a conversation. Look at you are kind of a big deal. You got conversation for two hours for free. You're a pretty you, big wait, fucking deal, not, man. You're not paying me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is. Yeah. No. Um, so, but the thing is, is just at least, oh, if there's no nothing else to do, then if you respect my time, then. If there's nothing to do, like if I've made my money or something, made my rounds or something, and I'm going to be sitting by myself, or I'm going to sit with you, if you respected my time, I'm going to go sit with you and talk to you and hang out with you. Okay, I was so going to ask you that. So the thing is, is like, because, so you need to let, like, people need to let the girls know ahead of time, because if there's somebody else there that they could go to and make money because they're working, then they need to go do that. Mm-hmm. Because you know, they're just waste. They're wasting time. At yes. This, at that. So just don't waste my time. Let me know. Or if you if you don't have as much money as you normally do, or you don't ha- yeah, have like, like, hey, I got X amount. Yeah. What say, hey, do? I have this amount. What can I do so we both have a good time? And then I'll give you all the options. Like, don't don't sit there. Don't try to barter and say like. I'll trade okay. you salmon for a lap dance or something like that. That doesn't work. Who the fuck don't. wants salmon? <laughs> I don't know. No, but <laughs> people, Where do you come up with salmon? That was like Fud Some Ruckers. people do try to like say like anything, like some type of thing, like a purse yeah. or like... Do you guys get like... Well, do you well guys, some of them are as good I'm, as money. Yeah, but, yeah, but do you guys get offered persons, like drugs oh, okay. though? Be like, if I give you like... I'll give you a fucking pot or I'll give you Coke or something. Does that ever happen? Um, If... Well, me, I'm sober, so... Well, I mean, I'm, no, I'm just I, saying in general. Like, no, what, like, some people but, just go in there and be like, I got Coke. Would I, can I get this if I give you some Coke? Or, I haven't had anybody uh, say it in that sort of way. No. I've had people be like, yeah, I got a little good good if you want some. And I'm like, nah, I don't play that. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think yeah. if they said it that way, I'd be like, you're a fucking cop, dude. Get out of here. Yeah. Like, at the... Just yeah. So, so, so straight up like if, that. If people say something, I'm just like, no, I'm sober, you know. I don't yeah. judge, but like... Now, are you I, sober I, because of... A Be- past? Yes. Yeah. Or because that's just what you do. No, it's I um I I yeah, I was bad. No, nope, I yep, respect so that hundred percent. I am years good for you. Sober. No, so sorry, I, I know am I'm very proud of myself. I seem a little sentimental right now, but good for you. Thank you. At least you it's, had to it's not easy being working in a bar and then mm-hmm. like having it's I mean there it like I feel like drugs are big in this industry. Could be not, big. Not as bad. Not as bad. No, no really. No, not in this club because okay. they don't. They have a no tolerance for that. So that is. The, okay. I love it. And the thing is, is everybody there supports my sobriety. So which they should. Yeah. Yes, I think people should a hundred. Yeah, why push that on somebody? Like, there's a few customers that'll be like, "Oh, well, you're boring. Oh, you're a good girl," or they have I don't a comment, think so. and I'm like, "If you're sober well, and doing this, yeah, you're not boring like, at all." Yeah. So I'm like, so it's like, oh well, I'm sorry that you have to drink. To like yourself. like yourself, and and you don't like yourself to the point where you have to insult me because I like myself sober. Like, mm. just don't insult. Nobody's judging. Just don't insult me, and then you know, like, then I and won't. We don't have to be drinking for us to have a good time and for me to be good. At you know what? That makes me think of as we've talked about it a hundred times already in this episode. <clears throat> but people look at this industry like they have problems daddy issues or whatever they look just it's, it's just what it is people I mean, look at it that way wait, but when it comes down issues? to it let me say something about daddy oh, issues okay. let me say something so m- men like to use daddy issues as an insult to women that when don't it was, give them what they want or no 
any way, whether it's just because you're a stripper, you have daddy yes. issues, okay. or you're not. It's when sword. it's a man who created the daddy issues. Mm -hmm. So why are you insulting the woman? Fair why enough. is a man insulting the woman for issues that a man gave her? Well, and that that's what I was getting at. Like these so, people assume that they have these issues oh, yeah. when really the half the people that are here watching the dance have issues themselves or they that's why they're there Listen, everybody has some type of issue that's right so like, for them no, to look down perfect. on you guys is, is no, not listen daddy issues gets thrown out as like a kink terminology yeah like, oh, it does she's kinky. oh she's better in uh -huh. she has daddy oh that's where da like the that's... daddy term came from probably right like yeah probably oh. narcissism is another one that all of a sudden everybody's a fucking narcissist. Narcissist, if you don't agree with what they want, I think you're everyone's. A I like, think what? everyone's a narcissist, mm -hmm. though. Um, everyone fucking lies. Everybody can be narcissistic. I yeah. I, I think, think every, everybody could have narcissistic tendencies. Not everybody's a narcissist. If you have to sit there and, and think to yourself, "Am I a narcissist?" You're not a narcissist. Right? Because don't they not? No, they would never notice it. No. I need to mentally manipulate this person so that I have control over. Yeah, them. that's that's a narcissist. Yeah. Hmm. So do you have any more t anything else that you um, that's on your mind that you're like I wish people knew? Don't try to like barter or bargain. Don't sit there and say, "Oh, well, um if you give me a good dance in the back or if you give me a good experience in VIP, then maybe I'll tip you." Uh, or okay. or like you wouldn't pay $200,000 for a car without test driving it, right? Well, first off, we're talking about a dance. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, your test drive was on the stage when I was up there. Yeah. Yeah. That was that, your test drive, asshole. And so the, so the thing is, is every girl, like, there's a recommended that you tip, and then some girls are like, well, most people tip me a little, like, a little bit more. I'm not, you, I'm, I can't tell you how much to tip me. Like, I'm not going to sit there and say, demanding this much. You know, I'm going to recommend it. If you're insulting me and saying, oh, well, I'm going to give you like 10 or $20 for the whole thing. I'm going to say, if you already bought the time in the bag, I'm going to say, okay, well, I can dance in the corner like by myself over here because it's still a dance. Mm -hmm. I had somebody say, give me $5 and say, well, it's still a tip. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go in the corner over here and dance by myself because it's still a dance. I mean, then he, <laughs> yeah, it right. is. But the thing is, like, why am I going to sit here for three songs? That's like. I think people forget that you're working. Yeah, I but think they forget it, that. and I, that's I don't I, even think they forget they're working. I think they they want a, a lot of people just want the because he had the money, he gave it to me, you know, and then I gave him a good dance. No, I know. Actually, I think sometimes too, it's not that they forget that they're working. Yeah, I think no. some guys just think that you're beneath them. Yes, some people and you, do. And you owe me. I'm here. Yeah, but because no. you're in reality a drug addict or you're. A but, whore, or you're this or that, or whatever. They think that, right? Yeah, the they, guys they, think that. So, like, but in you reality, should be thankful that I'm giving you five dollars. Yeah, but in reality, you're the one who's giving, who's like giving me money and begging for the attention, mm -hmm. like. Right, and that's I what mean, I'm saying. Like, what people think that there's problems with these girls yeah. that are dancing when really it's probably the other way around. You're no you, more, have you guys are too. no more fucked up than like, I am, or he is, yeah. or my wife, or anyone else is out there. Like, I'm very serious about this. I am very, like, very professional. I am. I Actually, you're probably better off brand. than most people because you're sober. I've, yeah, these two have done better interviews than some of the normal yes. people that have been. Yeah, absolutely. There's no. There's. It, it's all a stigma or mm -hmm. all a stereotype. Yes. As yeah. all, as all I mean, you is. guys changed my view on dancers or strippers mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's not that I ever thought you guys were lesser than anybody yeah. else, but you guys put a whole it's new a, a whole, whole new light on, yeah. on the industry but, and stuff but like people that. Do, and that's why I brought up with Lola before we started the show. I didn't want her to think I was insulting her because there's a lot of stereotypes out there that we all know are true. Well, not true, but we all know that there's the, the actual stereotypes. stereotypes. Yeah. And I wanted to be able to bring them up and get to the bottom of them without her thinking that I was insulting her by that because she knows she's not dumb. She knows that people think this stuff. Yeah. So that, it's good. I think we got a lot accomplished. And with we did the show. Another thing too. Let me say a tip is. Oh, we got to talk about the woman thing. Yes, too. that's what I was. Oh, about yes. okay, good. Yes. Good. Um, there are a lot of women that come in that are great. There are also a lot of women that come in that think that they can touch more or they can tip less and do more. Mm -hmm. Or especially the whole thing is touching more and trying to take their pants off or trying to make get you to strip, them. make out with oh. them because they're women. When you come in, you 
get, you are a person, you are a patron. Mm -hmm. You don't get any free passes with touching tits, touching butthole, touching pussy, seeing all that stuff. Is that like a thing? Because you mentioned butthole quite a few times. Oh my God, I have to say that every time. Is that like like a thing that people try to actually touch your butthole? I had a guy try to chicken peck (laughs) my my butthole with his nose. (laughs) Literally, I stuck my ass in his face and he goes, and I'm like, I told you with his nose. <laughs> and I'm like, I told you, boop. you can't, you. <laughs> <laughs> he, did the, well, <laughs> he did the boop would have freaked me out. <laughs> well, yeah, but, and then he goes, and then, and then I'm like, I told you, you can't touch boobs and pussy. He's like, that's not pussy. And I'm like, it's like mm, two millimeters away from my pussy. Like, what are you, I'm well, like. Well, you could probably then, fix that one day. Huh? You, you, yeah. you guys could probably fix that and, though one day. But just go to the bathroom and not take care of yourself and let them do it oh, then no, no, and see no, what happens. Dude. Well, no. <laughs> but and then, but then Matt, he there's goes, always something with you. But yeah. there's always I love he, it. But. He lightened it up by saying, "Oh well, at least it smells like peaches. No, like my peach smells like them. peaches." Like, okay, mm. thank you. <laughs> Isn't it if it doesn't smell like something, there's something wrong? Aren't they all supposed to smell a little? Asshole? No, like, pussy. Oh, no. I, he all supposed said to my smell asshole. A little. Oh. He stuck his nose in smells oh, like. Oh, yeah, I thought no, peach was pussy. pussy. No, a peach is an ass. Oh, I thought that was ass cake. Cheeks. Oh, yeah, it could be cake both. Cake is ass. Oh, cake it's both. Cake is ass, yeah. The cake by the ocean. Yeah. Like, cake is like the thick That's what that thick song's ass, about, like you know. Like, cake, cake. About sticking your nose in a girl's asshole? Sure. 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 Lola, tell us about you before we got, you already did, I know, but just to, to tell us how people can find you. So the easiest way to find me is on my website. Okay. Um, Lola Montez, VIP, because when you're on my site, you're a VIP, oh. um, dot com. And if you Google search it, say that you meant to say VIP dot com. Lola Montez. Because it does VIP. that weird thing. Because it does a weird thing. It's okay. like pulls up. Did you mean this other thing? Um so I'm and it does a link to my suicide girls, my the comic book that's written about me. Um Can they find everything from that website? In other words, your your TikTok, ev- every, your Instagram, your um, not my TikTok. I my Instagram, I think I have it set back up with the Instagram because um you use I, Linktree? Is that what you I do. Okay. But I don't really like use it as much because I have my website. So it just, Oh, has, right. That yeah, does it so for it you. Do, it does it for yeah, me. Okay. And I like the website. I created it and it has a, a bunch of my modeling pictures. Like you could scroll through. It has my merchandise. The prints that Merch. I have is, um, they're limited time. So once they run out, those ones are done. Okay. So I'm not, I, I won't be doing those because I. So get to that quick. If yeah. You, if you get them now. Because once they run out, they're gone. Right. So, and then I'll have new stuff. But like those, it's um like. Will you sign stuff for people if they, if they. Yeah. So what I do is I don't sign the, the, the picture, but I put when I fold it up into tissue paper and I'll put like with love Lola and kiss mark on nice. it with red lipstick. So, it, like, I, it Kim comes with a, like a handwritten note card with, F, and then me kissing yeah. it. So, perfect. Mm-hmm. Would you come back on the show in the future? Yeah, I think so. I'd like. We're at, this is episode sixty. We got sixty nine coming up, and yes. we got to do something. That's going to be a big show. My thinking is, if we can get rodeo here, and possibly another girl from, I don't know if there's anybody interested. If we could find somebody that would come up and and do her own uh, interview or guest appearance, whatever you want to call it. And then on episode 69, have the three of them come and just take our spot and run the whole fucking show. Just take over. That'd be, fun. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. Okay. So it sounds... I, I, I can't promise that yet, but we... For episode 69, Harley Quinn might have to come. Listen, I'm... Just saying. I mean, can we, we can we're gonna have to we're class. gonna have to fight to be Harley Quinn because I have. A I mean, just Harley know. I mean, just, you guys can do whatever you want to when you come back. You just I mean, can't be nude. Well, I'll be poison ivy, and I'm down with that. Oh, Unless, I have a poison ivy. Co- ivy oh, so too. oh, now it's getting. Which this one, getting fucking hot know. now. These guys are fighting know. over. It. I love it. Unless Listen. if they are nude, we just don't put the actual video on. We just put pictures. No, they're, not, of them. they're not coming nude. No, but that's not how this works. This is professional. I had to try a little bit. But I'm saying, like, if they wanted to. Ask once, <laughs> then you know the boundary. And I'm just saying, like, if they want, like, if she wanted to dress up or whatever, if she wanted to dress up somehow or whatever, we can do whatever as long as there's no nudity. We could be, ha- we could both be. As long as there's no nudity, you guys could do whatever the fuck you want. We're good to go. Just because I can't, we'll get shut the fuck down because social media is a piece of shit sometimes. 
Uh, well, obviously, Rodeo social D- media doesn't know who the fuck I am. <laughs> yeah, if they fucking knew. I'm Matt motherfucking Reddick. Big deal. Do I got the? Yeah, I do. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. <laughs> You're not that guy. <laughs> Do you want to give let people know how to get a hold of you quick yeah. while we're mm-hmm. and then we'll have uh, I, I guess we'll have rodeo will be back again at some point in the near future I would imagine we'll do another thing and uh, but until then you guys can go check her out where can they find you you can find me onlyfans.com backslash goddess of teas all one word or you can actually wait a minute Instagram. can you do it in the thing yeah. I'm sorry I thought I could make that work. So you're going to follow me on OnlyFans.com backslash Goddess of Teas, all one word. And you can find me on Instagram, Rodeo underscore Galaxy. There it is. Check these guys out. This has been episode 60. They will be back, amongst others, hopefully. We're going to make it. Th- we got to do a field trip, too. We're going to have to go to their, have their to studio. Do, I think we're going to have to yes. do it. But can you guys do it like on like a, a night, though? Because, you know, we work. Yeah. Not on a we Saturday, can. we don't. Well, no, that's what I mean. Well, yeah, but I, not if, if on a some, Monday. If somebody schedules an appointment with me, I would like to do it on a Which people I, do. Yeah. Actually, I think that's so what we I, would do, actually. Yeah. People literally do. I'd rather do. be with the girls that I've known yeah. from the show, like like a actual, like yeah. a one on one, not creepy, but you know, no, yes, yeah, yes, because we know these guys Girl, now, so I'd rather do that. Listen, listen, you're, so. Su- you're supporting small business, you know. Pay f- to see your friend's buttholes. Right. Do you guys out there want to go to... Them. No, you can't touch no. the buttholes. No, you don't see your the buttholes. I was talking about only Do not boop that. her butthole, Matt. No, do huh? not boop Period. my butthole. Do not boop her fucking butthole. She's big on the boopings. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you guys out there... You guys want to go to Double you- Vision with us? We'll we're do not, a night. Not right now. We're gonna go. We're gonna, we're setting up like a like a VIP thing. Hey, let's do our Christmas party. Oh, there. Yeah, get VIP. The what? Yeah, that's what it used. I to think be. it was. Yeah, yeah, way back in the day. That was back before girls shaved. That was back in the seventies. Back in the <laughs> with the hairy bushes and you got the little tidbits Wait, let's and everything. Before, before we go, are you shaving or do you have a, a landing strip? It depends. Or it they could go to your OnlyFans and find the fuck out themselves yeah. if they want. I think you they know. should. I think they should go to the OnlyFans and find out. Rodeo yeah. clean shave it or or go no. to her OnlyFans and my find fans, out. I ran a survey on my OnlyFans and they voted for a landing strip, so I'm currently working on. The so so these guys will do, and I'm sure you probably would too if somebody did that, right? If they paid. Oh yeah. You do, so go on, go on their OnlyFans, find these guys on social media, and tell them how you want their pussies to look, and they'll probably do it. I just don't want crazy hair. Well, tell her that. Go I vote. I mean, some people like it. Some no, guys like well, it. I don't want yes. that crazy I had an old shit. boss that liked like the full fucking bush because oh, he was old. That. He was like 50 something. He's like that. Neon green mohawk. You gonna say no? Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> neon <laughs> green? Wait, <laughs> 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 it was oh, like, it was I like thought... for the next poll. It was <laughs> <laughs> so your drapes. We should figure something. We should figure something for the show. We should. We should find. We should vote on our Facebook page for the show. For episode sixty nine, how we gonna have how the girls should dress so within room. reason? We should or see if they'll well, actually. We should do a show where if they you give guys are stripper interested, pointers. I'll strip. No, 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 you won't. Please, <laughs> please. All right, guys, this has been episode sixty. We'll have these guys back. We're gonna we'll talk to them after the show and get stuff figured out. Yes, with that. And, yes. Uh, it was and, a good show. Yeah, we'll we'll. I had fun. I hope we'll they did. See you on the next one. Can I get a hey whore out of you? Hey whore. Oh, hey whore. Hey whore. Hey whore. You know what they say? A trimmed deck is a big deck. That's hey, though, my deck That's ain't a, big either way. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Priority <laughs> Earthworks. PriorityEarthworks.net. If you have mulching for commercial, residential, or any overgrown that you would like to take care of. What about pri- your bush? Will he, will he trim your bush? He will trim the bush. It's just hot <laughs> off the presses right here. You know, his name's Adam. 518-669-5401. He will trim your bush. He will keep your property clean, trimmed, and proper. Again, call Adam at 518-669-5401 or PriorityEarthWorks.net. It's hot off the press. Extra, extra, read all about it.